But look, but but while the beat running for four minutes, they they fucking like crazy. Yeah, yeah, for by sure. By the time the song came on, they they done washed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't got the hot rag, wiped themselves off all that hey. shit. Mm, damn, Q, baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy versus everybody podcast, voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. A-Bite Podcast, episode 186, man. Yeah. We got a special guest at the building, man. We've been trying to make this happen for a little bit, you know Long what I'm saying? Time, but like you said, man, this got to be the right time. Yeah. We got a, uh, first off, man, most important role, your father. Mm-hmm. Uh, happy birthday, your son. Birthday was the other, you know what I'm saying, the other day. Yeah, the 20th. You know what I'm saying? So y'all around the same time, because yours is the 10th, right? Mine is the 8th. 8th, okay, I was close, yeah, I was close, dog. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to being a father. Thank you, man. Uh, your husband? Uh, I used to be. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. Apologize. I'll take that back. <laughs> you know, it's all good. You no, know I'm saying he's a singer. Uh, after man, you supposed to play a role as a knight. What happened? To- yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still coming. We uh, we're actually working it out now. We uh, we about to start uh, refilming. It's yeah, a, a show called Season Ronin. For sure. But we got the homie Ty man. Yeah. Back in the day, used to go by uh, was it Tattoo or Tattoo? Uh, Tattoo. Tattoo Fresh. <laughs> you, you did your research. You did tattoo your research. Fresh in the building, man. How yeah, was yeah. how was Tattoo Fresh different from Ty? Oh man, well, Tattoo <laughs> Fresh was wild, man. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga had the host. <laughs> and um, you know, he was just wild. You know, I was younger. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, just out here, man, in the Detroit scene. And that's when like, uh, Tone Tone was first heating up. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Rashad Morgan, when well, he was Ray Ray then. Yeah, yeah I you remember know what him. And it, it was wild. It was yeah. What, well, what was the na- reason for the name change? You feel like it wasn't like you matured for uh, too much for that name, or? Yeah, I feel like I, I matured, and I just, I feel like. This is what I feel. With every great artist, I feel like you got to reinvent yourself after a little while. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So for sure. It had been like a long gap, like 10, 11 years. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm coming back out. It's T.Y. Like, yeah. I, I gave myself a whole new moniker, a whole new vibe. And yeah. just, you know, some grown man shit. Yeah, Tattoo Fresh is out here going crazy, drilling. Uh, he, <laughs> drilling. <laughs> he, he was bodying. <laughs> oh, man. But before we get to everything, man, we start every episode with Salute Me While I'm Here. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we right. give them their flowers. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be parents, kids, or if you're in a relationship. Okay. It got to be somebody out of that circle. So, got somebody you want to show some love to? Oh, uh, man. Uh, if I got to show some love to somebody, uh, it would be my partner right here, Wayne. Man. For sure. He hold me down. He my business partner and uh, my label, Fully Funded, our label. Mm-hmm. And um, he's just a solid nigga. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when, when I think of what solid means, it's, it's my dude right here, man. So, For sure. For salute sure. to him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. His flowers right you can That's dope. Them. Shout out to Wayne, man. He followed me yeah. back on it. <laughs> yeah. How y'all get cool, though? How y'all get tight, man? How that relationship start? Man, we met uh, We met while we was working, man. Okay. I had, uh, went to General Motors, and we was working or whatever, and mm-hmm. um, we just clicked instantly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, from that day forward, like, we started dabbling with the music. He's also an, an amazing producer. So. Okay. Who was dabbling with the music and I was, you know, giving him my background, he gave me his background, mm-hmm. and we just clicked. Yeah, yeah. And we just started riding. Mm-hmm. And it was That's dope. You know what I'm saying? We locked it in. Hell yeah, shout out to Wayne, man. Yeah, Wayne yeah. in the building, man, on sure. the side. <laughs> Fully funded. For sure, for sure. I'ma uh salute I salute this person already, but I'm gonna salute him again just because I see a lot of podcasts out here just falling off. Mm-hmm. They be having their episodes, they have their shows, and after a while, everything just kinda like demise. I don't know if it's because like, you know what I'm saying, pricing of the facility they're using or whatnot, but they fall off. So I'm a salute my uncle, dog, my pop, you know what I'm saying, producer of the year, man, Q, man, just because, you know what I'm saying, hey, I do this for free. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times I know, hey, that pricing could be a mug, boy, to record an episode for an hour, it could probably be $250, $300. Mm-hmm. So I want to salute him for coming through the snow, you know what I'm saying? If it's yeah. raining, if it's snowing, yeah, that nigga sure. come, man. I know sometimes he be like, damn, I don't want to come. Cause we don't live here, so we both be meeting up and shit. So okay, okay. Shout out to uh, Q, man. Sh- sugar, good night, man. <laughs> <laughs> sugar, good night. I like that. <laughs> but man, how was last year for you, man? It's a new year. It's twenty twenty four. I know. Yeah. You just had a birthday, or whatever. Talk about last year, man. Some ups and downs, personal and on the music side. Yeah. Um. Shit. Last year was. Man, I'm, to be you know, what I'm saying to be transparent, man. I still haven't got over my uh my grandmother's death. My grandma died in 2018, man. Mm-hmm. So like, I deal with that every day, cause like I be wanting to talk to her, go over to her crib, whatever. So yeah. shit, that's like my hovering cloud that stay over me. But I mean, I feel her presence around me, For sure. you know, and I know uh, she in a better place. She not suffering. Yeah, man. That's um, a, them grandmas be needed, boy. Them classic grandmas. They do. They what, do. What you miss most about her cooking? 
Oh man, she did that. <laughs> man, she she made the she make the pot roast with the with the carrots oh, and the onions in it, man. man. The, the the monster burgers with the gravy and the rice. Man. Her greens. Her, <laughs> her green beans. Oh man, she did that. Thing. Oh, her apple pie. Oh yeah. He apple got, pie that's, was slim. <laughs> that's what I'm slim. saying. No grandma's back then, boy. They got boy, they be cooking. The best. Man. Shout out to Grams. Yeah, man. Um I had uh what we had we had some good Good times, a, a good run, but uh, we was ending the run for um, Two Raw, which mm-hmm. was uh, like a little setup we doing for um, my new projects. We about to actually start working on Two Raw 2 okay. or TR2. Okay. And um, man, just spending more time with my kids, uh, shit rough. I don't really look at stuff rough because I feel like everything that happened is supposed to happen. For you a reason, know what I'm saying? For sure. So I just kind of go with it. I've never been a complainer. Mm-hmm. i just always been a nigga that just... Roll right. with the punches, dog. Cause no. complaining ain't gonna change shit. Ain't gonna change the damn thing. You're gonna be crying. Yeah. <laughs> and I and you know my pops was in the streets, so my grandfather and my mom and my grandma was really the ones that was really molding me. And my grandfather wasn't a complainer. Yeah. And he was born four four days um before me. He was on January fourth. I'm on the eighth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he was a hard nosed Capricorn. He like complaining ain't gonna change shit. It ain't, off dog. your ass. Do what you gotta do and yeah. just get it done. Yeah, you know man. As fathers and as black men, that's something that you got to do. You ain't no complaining because, shit, we already behind. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to figure it out. That's the hard thing. Sometimes I'll be waking up like, what the fuck? Yeah. But in the day, you got them kids. You got a lady. You got to take care of, you gotta take care of home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't right there, them kids ain't right. You man. feel me? And they got to be right. They got to be right. My kids going to be right whether I'm right or not. That's how no, I look for at sure. it. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, and they know you fucked up. The kids know you fucked up, bro. <laughs> they will never tell you, but they, they, they no, know you fucked up. No, my son hurt me one day like, that. you don't even smile no more, dog. I'm like, damn. Like, that shit hurt me, nigga. I cried a little bit like, fuck. Yeah, they pay because they pay attention, man. They, yeah. and, they, and they got pure spirits. Children no. mm-hmm. Children are, are a blessing from God, man. Now, talk about being a father, bro. You got a nine-year-old son. And a uh, uh, 13-year-old daughter. daughter. Yeah, man. Yeah. I did my little research, man. Man, thank you, man. Hey, how that feel, though, having that, that little girl about to step into that? That high school, man. Hey, like. dog, listen. <laughs> I'm on her ass, man. She's such, she's such an amazing daughter, though. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, she she's at her testy stage to where she like, this. I want to do this. Oh, well, if I ain't doing this, I don't want to do nothing. I'm yeah. like, well, shit, we ain't doing nothing. I'm, <laughs> I'm from the 80s and the 90s. Like, well, shit, you, I ain't about to let no child run and dictate what an adult do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but, they, but for the most part, they they great kids, man. My, mm-hmm. my son, he nine, he's still in that. Wholesome stage. He mm-hmm. loves school. Yeah. Um, he loves computers. Mm-hmm. Of course, he loves, you know, all little boys, the Fortnite yeah, shit. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Roblox shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done spent hundreds V-Bucks on that shit. Yeah, yeah. Roblox. Man, bro, V-Bucks. I, I just bought this nigga like 15,000 V-Bucks. He was, it was gone in an hour. I said, bro, listen. The next time you get V-Bucks, nigga, yeah. you'll be, you'll be buying yeah, you'll be buying, yeah, like, you have a job. Man, that shit was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. man, just the beauty of being a father, man, is... It's just every day you just learn something mm. different about them. What changed about you though when once you had that, that that little girl? I feel like it was it was my get back because like I said when I was younger I was a motherfucker. Yeah, so yeah, with yeah. me having a girl first I'm like up oh, ah yeah. yeah. funny guy yeah, you sure. know what I'm saying like damn like now I have to protect her from how niggas was because you know you know when we was younger we was menaces yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and I'm I'm happy that. The, the internet is kind of keeping the kids' mind off. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, the shit happening. When mm-hmm. we was younger, it was real life shit. Yeah, yeah. So, you, go you know, it. when I was 13, I was trying to fill on titties. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Now, <laughs> for real. Because yeah, sure. I, I be keeping it 100 with my daughter. Like, man, these boys, I'm trying to kiss you or touch on you. She's like, nah. Yeah. She's like, they they called me wanting to play uh, Roblox. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, these little niggas weird. Because <laughs> when I... I, I, we, no, I'm being real though. Like, no, you was was done, nigga, we was trying to kiss. You trying to do everything to kiss. And nigga. hump, dry hump, yeah, and all yeah. that. You, you dry hump till your dick hurt. You, yeah. you, 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 was, you was trying to get to it. You was. Spend the bottle, house, nigga. You that bitch. You going to be dead, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Ain't going to be no kid, nigga. I'm dead today, nigga. Hey. Uh, oh, if, if somebody got pregnant, I'm running away. <laughs> I'm running That's funny, dog. So, yo, I was going to ask you, do you keep it real with her on those conversations about what to be looking out for with these niggas, you know what I'm saying, growing up and shit. I do, man. You know, um, like, I just, I ask her because it's like, I think we got to be transparent with our kids because mm-hmm. they see so much of this shit yeah, on TikTok and they yeah, like, ain't hidden. yeah, they like, what's going on? So I'm like, yo, if you ever feel like you want to kiss or have sex or do any of that shit, just tell me or your mother, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so we can kind of facilitate what we got to talk to you about. Yeah. 
And these little niggas ain't shit. Yeah, so I'm be trying yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? Get them that. If they can't do more than your dad, then yeah. you don't need to fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she walked away like, well, dad, that's going to be a long time from now. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Hell yeah. Because when that conversation comes, boy, it's going to hurt. You're going to want it with her and you're going to want her to come to you. Yeah. But it's going to be like, oh, shit. Because I got a little girl, she's three, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm already thinking about when she's 16 already, dog. Wow. That's 13 years from yeah. now. Yeah, not for real. Just cause I, and, but on the beauty of it, I can have two older sons that's older than her. Mm -hmm. So God forbid if anything happened to me. They're going to protect her. Yeah. And, and that shit go by fast too. Man, my son's seventeen, bro. Wow. <laughs> that jump by <laughs> extremely fast, dog. Yeah. Like I don't know where the hell that time went, dog. He's like saying drop him off and all that. Yeah, yeah. he got to get his little mustache lined up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God damn, this shit crazy, dog. I'm about to cry a little bit. I, I cry too much, dog. <laughs> Fuck it. Shit get you emotional. It's all good. I realized, man. dog. Real talk. I thought about this the other day, dog. My mom passed away in 2012. I'm sorry to hear that. Bro. And uh, before that. I never cry for nothing. But mm -hmm. now it's like, it's shit that made me get a little emotional just because I think about her a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So like, it'd be a movie that got nothing to do with them, but for some reason it triggered something that got me thinking about her. About your mom. So now me and my wife sitting there, I'm trying to hold that shit in, dog. like, fuck. Yeah, they, they, just, they just roll. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm still hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, hey, emotion is something that black men tend to not let let out because it make, mm -hmm. people think it make us look weak, but it, it don't, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. It for don't. sure, man. It's, it's a natural okay. thing. Hell we yeah. need to, you know what I'm saying, express ourselves more. Yeah. Now, we spoke on uh, last year, man. 2024, mm -hmm. you already said you trying to drop the new project, yeah. TR2. What's oh, we dropping it. We, oh, dro yeah, what? hell yeah, we going to drop it. What's, what's some other things that's going on as far as you in 2024, man? Uh, Like I said, we going to um, start filming on uh, Season Ronin. It's mm -hmm. a dope-ass show. I want to say it's like a mixture between uh, The Wire. It got a little bit of the power element in there. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be, I'm going to step out on it and say it's definitely going to be one of the the two watch shows from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Shout yeah, out yeah. to the other big dog shows, um, the Dirty D and, and McGraw app. But mm. it's, it's going to be up there. Trust me. Yeah, I can't wait, it's dog. It's going to be great, bro. Talk about that character, man. Night, man. Man, I play Night. Night crazy in the motherfucker. I ain't yeah. going to lie to you. Night is, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all ever heard. See, I'm a big researcher. So mm. when they told me I was going to be this guy, like, smart, but he... He basically like the shooter for the for his his boss. For sure, man. So we we start looking up different characters, man. And if um if you never heard of him, his uh his name is the Black Hand, Clarence uh, Clarence Heatley. Mm -hmm. He kidnapped Bobby Brown or whatever. So this character okay. is kind of okay. like okay. Okay. based behind him a little bit. Okay, quiet. You know what I'm saying? Reserved. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, all the all the crazy niggas always be ugly, so we had to bring a, a handsome element to it. That nigga was that nigga was fucked up. No. But but look, so no crazy niggas do be looking crazy. They no. do like all the, all the crazy homicidal niggas look crazy. So we brought the element, the little handsomeness in there. You know what I'm saying? Courtesy of myself and. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as like the character, like Knight is yeah. a motherfucker. Like Knight, a nigga you don't want to meet, For sure. and if you ain't cool with him. Yeah. Don't you ain't gonna get cool with him. Yeah. We love who we love, hate who we hate, but it's gonna be uh, an amazing show. For sure, for sure. Is that something you gonna step into a little bit more uh, throughout the years and stuff? Yeah, cause they they want to um the way that they're setting it up or whatever um with these business meetings, they want to do um uh, episodic show and they want to do multiple seasons. So mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. people in the city definitely gonna know me. You know what I'm saying? Last night, and then you know how the how the local movies are. Shit, it's it's people all over the country watching that. No, shit. for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We we man, music and movies we getting seen out here for sure. We are, we are for sure. Now, if you had a a, a role, you leading, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying you a lead actor, who'll be your leading lady? Cause I know back in the day you had crush on old girl from class at. Oh man, dark skin chick man. Yeah. She would have been the leading lady in every. <laughs> like she, she people forget, boy. That, she man, was gorgeous. She had me. That was probably the first chocolate chick I ever loved, boy. Yeah, she was like, I'm talking about like, woo, like you see her like, damn. Yeah, she was with Blade Brown and uh, Class uh, Act, dog. I hated that nigga. I, <laughs> Blade I Brown. I wanted that motherfucker to die in real life, like, dog. Oh, bitch. She was cold. She, she was, was cold. And she still look good. She she do. She, she still do. look good. So who'll no. be your lean late now, though? Like, we know that's mm. your that's your lady in the past, but who'll be your lean late now? Damn. Um, shit, it's a few of them. I like, uh... I like, uh, Zoe Zadana. Okay, okay. Ever since Colombiana, she For been sure. like... The top yeah. for me, yeah. Um, and then she in this new little show too called uh, Ops or the the Black Ops, where she play like this lady uh, working for the CIA. And she like you know send the hits out like don't mm -hmm. kill them, do this. Yeah. So she uh definitely her uh shit. I gotta go old school because I don't I don't really be seeing no pretty actors. No yeah. disrespect, yeah. but like <laughs> none like the '90s that was like oh. slamming. So yeah, not... shit. If I gotta go like my top three, 
I say give me a top three, dog. Don't don't kill me for saying this either, because people no, don't I know like you're gonna this say. person. I know you're gonna say. I'm saying three. the '90s version. Yeah, she was my top three in '90s. So. The '90s version of Jada Pinkett oh, yeah, for me for sure. was it? No, she I'm was talking like low down, dirty shame, yeah. Jason Leary. Yeah, Jason Leary. I saw her, Not, nigga. I saw a little bit of titty in that grass thing. Like, all right, oh, cool. Man. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, for like me. I loved her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, even even um. I could say Nia Long, but I think Nia starting to look mature to where she looked like if I was, she was not my leading lady, they'd think it was like incest. Yeah, yeah. She started to look, <laughs> yeah, for real. Not too old, Man. Nia. Uh, we love you, but Man. you know, like it, it couldn't. They'd be like, damn, like yeah. she, <laughs> she a freak. She yeah. got this young nigga. But hey, movies is movies. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, so Nia Long, Jada, and um, shit, who else? Woo. It's hard, man. It's hard. See, I got uh, cause I got five. I got them two. You got five? I got them two. I got uh old girl from um off of Parenthood. Oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was I forget yeah. her name though. I'm so mad I forget her yeah, name. She's from she's from here. Old girl from off of uh in the house, man. Uh but she Mike turned Campbell. To, she turned to a what some drugs, boy. She did. Oh, you know what? That's my third one. Oh uh chocolate from uh from Belly. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah when, she dog, was, when she got the little, the little sweat going down, yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, she was it. She yeah. was it. I got the white chicken there. Though. I always had a crush on Topanga, dog. Topanga was she the, was, the yeah. top tier white yeah, girl for, for sure. every black guy. For sure. Like right now, if you put her, if you had a concert, put her up on the screen, like every black guy is like her, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, yeah, I did. Hell and yeah. she had a body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, girl from Parenthood, I wanted to like dog. Oh, she was. I, I wanted to get with her, like nigga. Man, <laughs> that real. was she was married material. For sure. Yes, dog. Yeah, I was a boy. She, we had man. Yeah, shout out to her, boy. Shout, shout out, out to her God, wherever damn. she at. Yeah, she was bad, man. Let me stop thinking about her ass, dog. <laughs> but uh, dog, we we speaking on the years and shit. Like, mm -hmm. what's some shit that you learned about yourself, bro? You know, what I'm saying last year, going to this year, like, like damn, I didn't know I was capable of this, or there's some shit that I need to work on. Like, what's some uh, shit that you learned? I think what I learned most, man, is um, saying less is more. Mm -hmm. You know, in every situation, um, I went through um some real bad shit with my kid's mother, mm -hmm. and uh, I prided myself on. Let's kind of bridging the gap to where we can kind of be um, co-parenting on the on the good level, cause you know it's bad co-parenting and good co-parenting. Yeah, no, we, sure. we was like an enemy term. It's rough like, at first, oh, huh? man. Yeah. I know about that, yeah. My Look, son. I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to you, niggas. So it was like it was really bad, but I feel like for the kids, like we should be able to talk and. Mm -hmm. Work through whatever we got to work through. I don't want you. You don't want me. But mm -hmm. let's still respect each other. And you know what I'm saying? We, we got years in the game as far as when we did used to be married. So mm -hmm. that was like my biggest lesson, just learning to live live and let live. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, hey, you doing you, I'm doing me. But mm -hmm. let's make the best out of this situation. We got two beautiful blessings. Mm -hmm. And you wish me the best, I wish you the best. And let's keep it going. For and sure. I just applied that to everything. Mm -hmm. I would, I'm a person like... I I'll be honest, bro. I really I really don't like people. Yeah, like, yeah for sure. You know, like, <laughs> for sure. As if I'm being yeah, honest, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sure. And I told my homie I was gonna say that he like, yo, you a wild boy, but it's the truth. No, like, yeah. I love who I love, and I and I'm the nigga that's not in every circle. So no, like, for if sure. you saw me somewhere, y'all be like, damn, see why here? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's it's this is a good function. Yeah, it got be. Yeah, this nigga don't go right. out to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't go to everything. I don't be at the clubs like that. I just. I'm a nigga. I really love what I do. Mm -hmm. Music, the music shit, the acting shit. I really love what I do, mm -hmm. and um, I, I wanted to clean that up when I say I don't like people because I don't want. I mean, people. I don't like people either. I don't look. Like, I want to be a comment like, like T.Y. or Cole, but <laughs> I'm saying I don't like. I don't like being around just the wrong people. The wrong people, yeah, yeah, because yeah. sometimes that shit puts you in the wrong situation. And I think mm -hmm. we have to think before we do anything. Cause yeah. no, that, sure. that one wrong move, a nigga like, ah, you know, you got hit wrong, yeah. wrong time, wrong place. You know, like, I ain't lost homies just because of the people that they was fucking with. Yeah, like I don't even rock with dog. Exactly, like, he don't bring up but fucked up energy around. Exactly, I can't be around. And dog. I'm a big energy person. Like I gotta, I gotta be able to smile yeah. when, when you when sure. you around. If I if I got to look like my man <laughs> did on pay the food that yeah. was leaning on the cards. Tough shit. as hell, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, man, shit, we, we, in the wrong, we in the wrong mood right Nah, here. that's true. That's true. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now, uh, on the on the marriage tip, because like, mm -hmm. you know, I've been married. Uh, I'm going on four years. Okay. Like, do you feel like it was y'all was just like too young or just like just I, I feel like we was too young, man. And then like, I don't know, like, you know how you, how you kind of reflect back, you know, because my marriage ended really bad. Mm. You know, and I go place to blame on all on her. It was me. I did some shit I didn't have no business doing. But For like, sure. man, I feel like 
we was young. Mm-hmm. And then it was the point of Shuey had even really got married. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or she yeah. just had some beautiful kids and been able to, keep, to rock. Keep I wanted to be married because it was more so... My mom and my dad was in the streets. Mm-hmm. They was never married, but they loved each other like crazy. Yeah, so yeah. that shit used to fuck with me as I got older. Like, <laughs> yeah. these motherfuckers is gangsters, yeah, and, they, sure. and they love each other, <laughs> but they can't be they together. Can't, yeah, like, yeah. why y'all ain't never get married? I, yeah. I asked my mom about that even to this day. It'd be like, mm, it just didn't happen. Just didn't happen, yeah. But they were in love with each other, so it'd be like, all right, so once I start having kids, I want to You want to change the whole thing? Yeah, And yeah. at the time, we was, I thought, you yeah. know what I'm saying, we was in love and, and loving on each other, but it's like... I think the real test of marriage is mm-hmm. like when you really in it and you got to wake up to see somebody every, every day. day. Yep, yep. And and then too you got to keep it spicy. You got to reinvent yourself mm-hmm. and as far as still being who you are but hey baby let's let's still do these date nights. Let's mm-hmm. still go on these trips exactly. and, and let's let's do exactly. what we got to do. Um like I said, I ain't going to say nothing negative about it cuz it ended. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. that's People the only change. negative part <laughs> yeah. I would say. People change and things grow up, but mm-hmm. uh man, I would say like I said we was young and and we just didn't really know what we wanted. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. The last thing I want to ask you, I'll get off that because I don't like to stay on that too long. But Sorry, this is an important thing with y'all having kids. Mm-hmm. How important is it to like know that person who she about to get or deal or be in a relationship with? Like for you and for her, like she messing with this guy or you messing with this mm-hmm. lady. Do y'all got to come like talk to each other? Like, hey, this is getting serious. Like, how do y'all do that? Oh, uh, hell no. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I got I got my lady now. Yeah. And uh, she knows of her. But she, guess what? She knows of her because my kids adore my lady. Mm-hmm. And, and my lady love um, my kids like they're her kids. For sure, for sure, for and sure. And that... that that warm my little cold heart, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so uh, nah. As long as they treat my kids good, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, they ain't trying to put their hands on my kids, and they respect my kids. Yeah. Fuck me, you don't never gotta see me. Yeah, for sure. Because if sure. you see me, it's on some bad shit. <laughs> yeah, it good. Cause though. we ain't about to hang out and go hooping there. Yeah, though. nah. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm straight, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm so happy because I'm in that same situation. Me and my high school girlfriend, we got together. We didn't get married, but we had a kid. We was mm-hmm. together then. Things ended ugly, but I hated her. She hated me, but we wanted to. My mom told me some real shit. She like, are y'all going to get back together? So I'm like, no. I was like, so why y'all can't just go ahead and be co-parents? Yeah. So then we just got together. If it was for her, then shit would have been bad. You know what I'm saying? But when she said that shit, I'm like, you know what? You're right, because we ain't going to never get back together. Fuck that, but we got to be able to be good co-parents for my son to see it. And look at the gift that your mom gave you before she went to a better place. No, for sure. Mom, yeah, yeah. Moms are just second to none. I, I love my mama so much, dog. I'm telling you. I think yeah. if I think too long about my mama, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she's still here. If I think too long about her not being here, boy, I get emotional. I but love no, my mom. And that's the one thing I like when I, when I met you. You was with your OG and your mom. Yes. You was yeah, with them. So talk yeah. about that. Like, like that's your that's your team then? Man, I know. my mom is like my biggest supporter, <laughs> yeah. dude. Like, and she getting older now, you know what I'm saying? So, she still move around. She driving all that, but, you know, she might move a little slow. So, like, yeah. you know, Wayne to laugh at me because he was like, hey, yo, tell moms about the show. I'm like, wait a minute, nigga. This show moving kind of fast. <laughs> like, we ain't got no, you know what I'm saying, yeah. no room in the back for my mom. You know, I don't I don't want nothing to happen. And I'm like, oh, so, shit, my you mother. Break, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. it's like, mom, if this show is, you know, low key and it's, it's nice. Like, the show I just did it uh, Fridays uh, with Nandy. She she couldn't come for, you know, a reason that she that was with her but mm-hmm. like um that's a show like she can come to kind of lay back but if if it's like i'm so on the show with a yeah. fucking ti and yeah. like you know what i'm saying uh blue boozy nah my yeah. i'm 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 yeah. asking somebody go live you can just watch that yeah shit. for sure for sure now uh hey man his mom discovered him by telling him to turn that goddamn radio off yeah that's how she yeah. found out he yes. could sing dog yes, yes. T- talk talk about that bro like of course you would have found out eventually but just yeah. at that moment she about to cuss your ass out because she told you to turn the radio off, but you and them, uh, you know saying, sing your heart off. Yeah, like like I said, my mom my mom was in the in the streets, and I feel like the the best the best way to do something that your kids are not supposed to know about is when you can do it so seamlessly and flawlessly. Like like my mom was was one of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so my life was built around her protecting me and my sister for sure you know what i'm saying my oldest sister mm-hmm. and i would sing every day and you know my mom would you know go to work or yeah. quote unquote work yeah. whatever yeah, sure, and then sure. come <laughs> home and be yeah and be like sure. you know what i'm saying like hey you, you hey uh you know tone it down that we, we about to eat some food or whatever yeah. and i'm singing and um 
one day, I guess, you know, somebody been going on with her, and she like, hey, she like, chill out, mm -hmm. you know, I ain't in the mood right now. What's up? Turn the radio off. So I did, but I kept singing the song. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep singing. And I and I vaguely remember it, but I remember her coming in that room. Yeah. She was about to put it on me too, like, yeah. hey yo, what's <laughs> what the fuck? And this when my mama used to cuss and everything, so she was she was saying some shit. Yeah. But I told your ass to turn this shit. And I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> and, but when she was like, so did you turn the radio off? I'm like, yeah, that was me. She was like, oh man, and from that point on it's like it switched like yeah. that whole night like you out there heard tell the story but like yeah. that whole night she was calling everybody like yo you know my my family nickname is ronnie so okay. she was like ronnie can sing like yeah. yo we're gonna put him in everything yeah. so my grandfather you know um who was like i said my everything mm -hmm. he used to have barbecues every year yeah, yeah, so man sure. every yeah, that yeah, was my job every summer yeah. I'm, I'm going to do yeah. the, the talent show and they got so big to where my cousins they felt left out like hold on we yeah, gotta they're like, yeah, this shit too. <laughs> yeah but them, them niggas like my brothers so yeah, we, we yeah. got my mom got the little videos of us doing uh do me by bbd we on the on the floor humping <laughs> and humping up and down and shit it, hey that's what i was just about to ask you wow. what was that go-to song you used to go to back then man bbd yeah. uh do me we used to do uh, Die My Heart by The Boys. Okay, okay. The uh, niggas don't know about The Boys. Nigga, The Boys was hard. Duh, The Boys. I used to watch that little movie they had every day at the school. Remember that You Got Me Going Crazy? Yeah, you they got like, me, they dressed you up like, got like me going. Yeah, Hell, that yeah. shit was hard. Baby, nigga, they my niggas, dog. Them niggas was sweet. We did crisscross, <laughs> jump, jump. For sure, for we put sure. The, we put the short song backwards. Yeah. That shit was hard. We had the Damage Off. Remember Damage? Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. What was that one group? Another Bad Creation. Yeah, Aisha. ABC. Aisha. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Man. That nigga, that's what, oh, I miss music back in the day, duh. Yeah, we had some good shit. For real. It's, it's crazy because my son, um, my, my son is seven. And uh, for some reason, my wife just was just going crazy watching a hell out of New Edition. She watched the New Edition uh, movie, three part yeah. movie. Then she watched the Bobby Brown jump. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, this was during Christmas vacation. Every day, I bought my son a microphone for Christmas. He'd been singing every day, New Edition. For every real? day, dog. I'm talking I, about them every good, day. Them good songs. And his bro. voice don't sound too bad. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like I'm like, hold on, cause like he holding hey, a note. Hey, like, hey, listen, listen. Tell him if he if he ever needs some sunglasses, Uncle Ty, I got him, man. For sure, for sure. I'm bringing to you, dog. Bring it to sure. you, cause I'm like, man, he be trying to do everything. I could tell he gonna be an entertainer in some type of way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He trying to hoop, he trying to rap, he trying to sing everything, dog. Yeah, but that's the beauty of being a kid. You yeah. know, when we was younger, we were like, man, we could take over the world mm -hmm. if we really put our mind to it, man. Mm -hmm. the kid, yeah. Kids are a beautiful thing, but. Getting back to the music, like that was just a good time, man. Yeah. We had we had good music. We yeah. had um, you know, Teddy Riley was producing, mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Jam and Trey Lewis. Them yeah. all, them them the three architects Legends. for me for music. Yeah, for sure. That was my whole childhood, man. I, when I when I heard uh, "Ready for the World," "Love You Down," I thought about, oh man, one day I'm gonna have sex with a girl. I'm mm -hmm. Play this song. <laughs> And I ain't even play that shit. <laughs> but well, when I was little, I thought it. You know, every time I used to hear it, I used to be like, "Oh, this this what this what the grown ups they be they be fucking with." Yeah, for sure. For when sure. the room, get, when the house get dark, and I hear this, it, they it's them, going down. They fucking, it's going down. And it was bro. certain songs I used to hear from my mama. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, cause my dad was locked up, you know, majority of my life. So mm -hmm. my mom started having boyfriends and shit. Like, it'll be certain songs I hear. I'm like, uh oh, my mama trying to do the nasty oh, shit. Oh, no, yeah, Put man. Put the pillow over my head and shit. Like, oh, <laughs> man, come on. Hey, man, but back then, like I tell, I told, I told this story countless of times. It was pressure on, like, our grandparents because those songs was long. It was. So you get down on that one. 12 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, we. It gonna take a nigga forever just to get that first note out, nigga. Yeah. The beat then ran for four minutes. But look, but but by the beat running for four minutes, they they fucking like crazy. Yeah, yeah, for by sure. By the time the song came on, they they done washed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't got the hot rag, wiped themselves up for all that hey, shit. Hey, RB music now, we can go play. All, we, you can get down a whole album and still got time left. That shit so quick. Man, the you whole know, album 15 minutes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. But what you think missing? From today's R and B mm -hmm. that we don't that they don't, they don't have from yesterday's R and B. Man, I really honestly think um, the love, man. Um, we got some amazing artists, not even just in Detroit, but just all over the country. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, the love that mm -hmm. a lot of people put into R and B, because you know niggas be heartbroken yeah. when they write these songs. For niggas sure. be happy. Niggas mm -hmm. want to impress a girl. Mm -hmm. So. I feel like the the experience in records is gone. Mm -hmm. When I hear an R&B record, because I'm guilty of it too. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll push shit out and be saying, yeah, these old, these olds. But the difference back then, niggas really wanted to love. They really yeah. wanted a girlfriend or they broke up with their girlfriend. They was really making a whole album conceptual-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, this is about me breaking up with my girl and that shit used to yeah. sell millions of no, records. For sure. Hell yeah. Uh, I think... I think R and B is on the is on the verge of coming back, man. So Me too. Great I people. think so too. T J Upshaw, well, he don't go by 
a TJ Upshaw. Uh, no more. Uh, my Upshaw. bad, my bad, TJ. That's my nigga. Yeah, Upshaw. Upshaw yeah, he, uh, I had him on show early, early, early when I first started. Yeah, he's yeah. he's incredible. Uh, uh, my boy Carlos out in Vegas. He signed to Genuine. He from Detroit. Okay. Um, another nigga from here. I don't know him, but he dope though. Mm-hmm. Uh, Detroit. He got tattoos like me or whatever. Mm-hmm. He he fire. He got uh, the braids like Nipsey and shit. He's okay. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Um, who else? The, the homie that uh. Like I said, Rashad Morgan, that's my homie. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what's the homie that, that did the Motown thing? He going to kill me for forgetting his name, bro. But <laughs> it's been so much going on the last few days. Yeah, Dr- uh, Dre Sconey. Okay, 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 okay. I'm yeah. sorry, Dre. Forgive me, bro. <laughs> Forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he watched everything. Because sure. he a real RV day. Forgive me, my brother. But <laughs> yeah. Dre Sconey, he's yeah. incredible. You yeah, know, yeah. he's doing like the 60s thing, whatever. So I think we on the verge of yeah, coming we got back, dope, though. A lot of dope R&B acts, too, uh, mm-hmm. gr- female-wise. We do. from the city, too, man. Yeah, Shout out to Toy Scott. She got an incredible song that she uh, just did a remix on and stuff like that, man. Yeah, a girl named Ari. Yeah, she, she coming up. She yeah. dope. Yeah, man, you got some good people out here, man. Yeah, but that, like you said back then, that music it, it meant a little bit something to the art to the it artist. Did. Now we talked about this all. T- we talked about this last week about how like people like Mary J. Blige made their best music when they was heartbroken. Mm-hmm. When you went through that divorce, did you make your best music then? No. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real. With you. <laughs> hey, you know what I said uh, I got to go back to my team, man. Uh, Shout out to homie Getty. Getty mm-hmm. 808 was holding me down. He records my music for me and, mm-hmm. and Wayne and, and even my sister. Mm-hmm. Like, they was like, yo, you just got to get it out. It, it, for me, it was just like a fun piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the songs, I ain't never dropped nothing trash, but like, yeah. you could tell it was some motherfucking yeah, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> were they my best songs? No, nah, but I just got it out because that was what I had to what? get off my chest at that, sure. at yeah. that moment. And um, I think, I don't know, I'm going to be real. I think when niggas like go too hard, Mm-hmm. That's why it was so dope when Usher did it, cause he didn't have nobody. But like, like I said, I got my lady now, mm-hmm. and like she was listening to the records, and she's so intelligent. She yeah. listening to shit. She like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, your baby mama, oh. mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's <laughs> yeah, like, sure. you know, when you get to any of them, you're like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, <laughs> might be in the doghouse, but exactly. like, you know, she was cool with it. You know, yeah. she's very understanding, and she was just like. I guess in her mind, she ain't never tell me, but I guess in her mind, she probably was like, you know, it's some shit he had to get off the Yeah, for sure. Gotta get and he did it. Head. And, you know, but I I won't go back to that shit. It's, it's sure. done. It's it's in the tank. Mm-hmm. That's when I did. Um, I did some on uh, Vintage Playboy. All this stuff can be found asking on uh, Apple Music, mm-hmm. Tidal, everywhere. Um, okay. On the TY, uh, Spotify. For sure. Uh, Vintage Playboy. And then the first two Raw. The first two Raw was sort of like me getting like the last of everything I went through in my divorce. Mm-hmm. And, um. Now you you done now. I'm done now. Yeah. T- <laughs> Let me tell you this. TR2, and I'm, y'all, I said this first here. Say hell on Shy versus it. Everybody podcast, man. TR2 is going to be one of the biggest R&B projects out of the city. Mm. I'm telling you now. Can't wait. Can't wait. How, how many tracks going to be on there? Uh, I think we're going to do maybe like 9 to 10. For sure. Hell it's, yeah. It's hell hard, yeah. though. Like yeah. like the concept we got behind it, everything. For sure. Damn, I wish I could sing. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen. Hey, that, was, that was the cheat code back we, then. Yeah, it was. We all could sing in the shower, though, man. Remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. How, many, how many girls you took down just off your singing ability? Off my back singing ability? Back in the day. Back in the day. Before man, we, shit. When you was tattooed fresh. Oh, well, when I was tattooed fresh, man, I, I walk up to a girl singing to me. <laughs> shit. Yeah, it, it worked, too. You know what I'm saying? Looking back at it, being a grown man, <laughs> it was corny. But then the corny stuff worked because we was young. For you sure. know what I'm saying? You already know. You already so, know. So, shit. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. What's your day to day life away from music, away from being a father? Like, how do you enjoy your time when you don't have to the obligation of being a dad or obligation of being an artist? Like, oh, you mean like when I had time off of the yeah. baby and mama? Like, I got them, they good. Yeah, they can stay here. Oh shit. And you man. ain't got no music. Like, what? What's fun for you without music and kids? What's fun for me, man? Um, that shit hard. Like, it's, too much. It, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, bro, because like I, I love reading. Like, I got a, I got an extensive um book collection. Mm-hmm. You know, shot reading is fundamental for, for anybody sure. in the comments. Like reading, yeah, yeah nigga, read. Yeah, yeah. Cat Williams said it, and yeah. I'm saying it, nigga. Cat reading. Williams read three thousand books by the time I, he's I, I ain't gonna lie, and say that. <laughs> that nigga was tripping. That nigga, he, yeah, he was off. The that nigga got accepted to Harvard too. Yeah, that, nigga was that, tripping, was, that was crazy. <laughs> but I love reading. Like I'm, a, in fact, I'm gonna upload in the next few days. I'm gonna upload and tag y'all so y'all can show it in y'all for stories. Sure. For sure, for sure. But I got an extensive book collection, man. Uh, I love movies too. I'm mm-hmm. a big, big movie guy. What's the last Old good movies? What's the last good movie? You watched. Damn, dog. See, I'm an old movie buff. Okay. So when I'm seeing this new shit, oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. ah. Okay. Yeah. Nigga, like my favorite movies is Empire with John Leguizamo when he was a drug dealer. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, of course, Boys in the Hood, King of New York, shit like that. All right, like, hold on. Get back to shit. Boys in the Hood. 
What you think was the the better movie for the neighborhood? Was it Menace or was it Boys in the Hood? For Detroit? For just just a, a nigga in the hood, like what you think was the the best movie between the two that you might have learned a little bit more from, like Menace or Boys in the Hood? Like, I think Boys in the Hood. Yeah, because yeah. he because Trey had his dad. Exactly. And every nigga in the in the hood, including myself, didn't really have a dad. Mm -hmm. So niggas was looking at that like, damn. Yeah. Men's society, they was just thugging. It was yeah. just straight thugging. Sure. And sure. I think that was the aspect of, you know, it worked on the niggas that was like really entrenched in that shit. Mm -hmm. I wasn't entrenched in it. My, I was the kid. I was like the Michael Corleone kid. Like my whole family was in the yeah, shit. For sure. It's still in the shit, you feel me? Yeah. But I was always the one that was like, all right, y'all. Yeah. See y'all later. Yeah, yeah, I'm about yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? about to do That's this. That's all I was going to say. Was that your choice or that was just like your family? Like, no, you ain't got, you ain't doing this shit. No, nah, like, it was my choice. Like, okay. nobody was like, nah, you ain't doing this. It yeah. was like, uh, I see all, I see where some of y'all going. For sure. <laughs> some of my family locked up, dead. Motherfuckers is, is running in circles. It's like, oh, no. Nah, yeah, I'm you ain't want no parts of that shit. Yeah, and it's like, no slight to them. She yeah. just, this Detroit, this is what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Now back on, because Menace to me is the better movie. Mm -hmm. to, I enjoy it more, but Boys in the Hood makes the most sense because it's showing you every aspect of the hood. Yes. It's showing you a kid with the father that really ain't the street dude, but he's mm -hmm. from the streets. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Showing me the, 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 the dynamics of having two brothers in the crib who got different days and they loving on the mama loving on one of them a little different because she liked the daddy more exactly like hate it, the other yeah, yeah it's showing you all type of shit dog like it's showing you all, the nigga went to jail came back home and, and that was the genius to john singleton mm -hmm. and he set it up so so flawlessly he he had Lawrence fishburne say you know i know you love your friends but mm -hmm. yeah. you know they ain't they ain't got what you got dad exactly. being on them yep. he said when they and when y'all grow up you're gonna see how it play out and it literally dog. shows yes, everything how it plays like, out. That shit give me goosebumps. Just think about how like th that shit, dog. Like you think about the nigga who got the grade, who, who got the sports behind, and but he got a kid and mm -hmm. he only seventeen. Yeah. So he trying to go to college, but he gotta take care of his, his family. Your girl in the movie, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So you gotta take care of her. Both of them, yeah. The dark skin girl and the and long. Then, yep. yeah. <laughs> that was that was a double treat. Yeah. So thank he, you, John. You know what I'm saying? So he trying to get out the hood in his own little way, dog. So it was just a great movie, just showing like everybody ain't street in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody they going through some shit, dog. And you're not lame for not being street because they still love Trey. Mm -hmm. They still looked at Trey as as like they brother. Dope yep. boy love Trey. Yeah, for That's sure. Why he let him out the car. He wasn't like, oh, you a he bitch ass nigga. Exactly. He like in his mind, he like he ride. Cause we all like we, we I'm brothers, brothers and they're yeah. like he's like our extended brother for sure. But when he said let me get out, he had no problem with letting yeah. him out. Yeah. He like this ain't you. That was some real nigga shit. Hell Cause yeah. Cause he could be like no fuck that you. He could be like you riding nigga. Yeah yeah. yeah. And I, but look, guess what? I would have been okay with if he would have said that in the yeah, movie. Yeah. It's, the movie wouldn't have, it wouldn't have fucked up if he for said sure. that. That shit was still being hard. Yeah yeah. Cause he came to him like hey man, I know why you wanted to get out that car. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But dog. he didn't even have to say it because they just already had he knew that. Knew it. Yeah, and that's when you know a nigga write a movie. You know what I'm saying? A genius, dog. And it just John Singleton was a genius. All right, that John Singleton. Man. Hell he yeah, genius. hell yeah. This dude still ain't seen Snowfall. Oh, Snowfall is incredible. This nigga watch every show in the world, every Toby movie. Incredible. incredible. Everything. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, the writing, the writing in Caesar and Ronan, and I ain't just hyping it because I'm in the show. Maybe a little bit, but. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all gonna love it. I can't like, wait to watch it. You gonna hit me like T.Y. Yeah. Now my nigga, you, you and this bitch going crazy. Now before we move on though, on Snowfall, mm -hmm. would you disappoint on the outcome of um, Franklin? Yeah, we just talked about this too. Yeah. He's riding, and I was talking about it, and um, we were saying that it did work. That um, you know he he got uh, on alcohol, you know, strung out with that because it was kind of like a mirror from his dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he hated about his dad. But also for me. I just love seeing the the fallen soldier story. Mm -hmm. Like, I I was pissed when he lost his money, mm -hmm. and I feel like he either should have kept his money or got that thirty three million back, and it should have been like, um, I forgot his girlfriend. She was so fucking ugly. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. remember her name. <laughs> Bruh, ugh. I, yeah, they did my dog yeah, Frank they, they, they did bad with that. Yeah, what was, was her name? Up. Uh, Javan, some Monique, some Nick. Yeah, was it unique? Uh, Javanese? Javanese, somebody did something. <laughs> so, but what's so crazy is she's ugly in there, but I seen her in something else and she was like pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, why the fuck they gave her like that bust up ass look? But <laughs> man, shout out to her because you played the role good. But yes, you did. I would have I would have rather seen Franklin go to jail or mm -hmm. get killed because it's yeah. like that's more relatable to yeah. us in Detroit realm. Oh yeah, you getting strung out. You know, there's people in the comments, you know, when the show ended like yeah. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of a lot of drug dealers on drugs and on alcohol. I hear you, but yeah. I seen more 
drug dealers here get killed yeah, or go to jail. For sure, for sure. All that strung out on yeah. drugs and shit. I get the turn and the twist because all along you probably think he gonna get locked up or go to jail. I get that part, yeah. but I would rather him did go to jail and then maybe last episode him coming out like to the same neighborhood and shit like yeah. that. Or something like that. But it just dog, he was just too money hungry in life. Like I don't think it was gonna never be enough money for him. Even yeah. I think the reason why his uh, OG had shot my man because she knew if he got that money, it still wasn't gonna be enough. Right, and he was gonna try to get more. And, and I feel like remember when she had that little thing when he was on that LSD and she was telling him like, you don't understand, you destroying the, the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So if he would have got that seventy three or thirty three million back in his mind, he would have still been the hot dog. Yeah, for sure. He would have went right back to Leon, still been trying to little dog him. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. the big dog again. I got for I sure. got the yeah. M's back. So now we gonna do this and. Yeah. And then he was too young too. Like yeah, let's he was let's, like let's twenty three. Twenty three. <laughs> because guess what? At that age, no one was in his ear telling him like, "My nigga, you still got you still got the money in the account that mm -hmm. the CIA nigga set up. Mm -hmm. Take it out of there. Yeah. Have it either in cash or put it somewhere yeah. where you know he can't get it. To sure. so where when he would have pulled that shit, he yeah. didn't be like, "Nigga, Damn, you don't even know where yeah. the money at." Exactly. Exactly, dog. That shit, man. That was a good so show. So that dog. showed his youngness. He wasn't thinking like that. He yeah. Put the and money Leon was the cat. Was the was the was a real nigga. He was. Like, if you put a definition of real nigga, he go, his picture gonna come yes. out, nigga. He was a real ass nigga, though. Cause he like, I'm not giving you the money cause you still gonna, you still gonna end up fucking yourself over. Exactly. Here. Exactly, dog. I'm giving dog. you all that for. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to Snowfall. That was a great movie, dog. Shout out to Snowfall. <laughs> now, um, great movie. Speaking of I mean, like, show, sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah. Speaking of something, like, uh, I want, I want, music wise, mm -hmm. if I want to know who T.Y. was just using an album or a song, what would that album or song be? I guess from I could, another artist. Uh, yeah. If you want, it could be another okay. artist. Uh, that's gonna really tell me about you. Ooh, man. I would say the album that would tell you about me. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say Thriller by Mike, but Mike to me he was already defined. He was like in in another orbit by that time. So I mm -hmm. say um I say Off the Wall. Off the Wall. His first time. Yeah. Me for sure. Yes. Because he yeah. was letting niggas know like I'm here. Yeah. This is what I do. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. say that, and I also would say. Bobby first album, Don't Be Cruel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you describe yeah, T.Y. Yeah. So, Mike, forgive me. I love you. Yeah. Take that back. Um, Don't Be Cruel by Bobby, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm that, talking about every song. That's yeah. who T.Y. is. If you listen to the album now, that's who T.Y. is. Oh, Don't Be Cruel. That was, I think, that was, wasn't that the second album? That was the first one. It was? Yes. Oh, yeah, that, that shit the was... The second album was Bobby, when he had the, the hat on oh, yeah, the back, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, little, yeah. the little yeah. uh, bra thing. Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> Mike, Brown was a, Mike Brown was a legend, boy. He was. He I was, was. That's, that's one I thing I wish I could interview, dog. Yeah, yeah, he'll be a yeah, great person to talk to. I believe him though. He he got he probably got some stories for days though. You yeah. had to do part two, three, and four on that motherfucker. He a real boy. nigga. You could just tell. Yeah. Speaking of real niggas, when last time you cried, dog? What was the reason? But it can't have nothing to do with death. Uh, no, I didn't have nothing to do with death. Last mm -hmm. time I cried, um. All right, that's too personal. Let me think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the la oh, okay, real shit. The last time I cried, man, my son almost got kidnapped. Thank God he didn't. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Well, how that happened? Yeah. Talk so <laughs> he was um he was at home with his mother and his sister, and, and my son is dope in basketball. Okay. And so he was out doing the basketball, and the van pulled up. Mm -hmm. And the van guy, from what my son was saying, the guy was saying, "Hey, uh, can I take a shot?" My son like, "No." Mm -hmm. So he kept shooting. Mm. The guy's still talking. He's saying, hey, well, I got some candy um, in the back seat. You can just come get it. And I, you know, I'll leave or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to just give you the candy. Yeah. So my son like, I don't want no candy. Yeah. So the guy said, do you, you sure you don't want no candy? And then mm. at that point, I guess it started going off in my son's head. Like, uh-oh. Yeah. And he's eight years old. Yeah. So he ran in the house like, mom, mom, mom. And the guy spit off. He like, this guy tried to kidnap me. And it was um, it was a big thing in their neighborhood or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he had tried to kidnap some other kids. Damn. So, right. So... When that happened, I I broke down, man. Cause yeah. that's that's my son. Yeah, you know? and it's like, bro. I was so thankful that he was smart, smart enough, enough yeah. to do that at eight, though. Cause yeah. you know some kids be like, "What kind of candy you exactly, got?" Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what you got? Yeah, for you sure. Know? Damn. And it's like it's 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 weird until it happened to your kid. Mm -hmm. If I it was happening and it was so close to happening, it was like, yeah, that's the last time I cried, bro. Yeah, that's and what... like me and his mom was beefing too, so it was like he told me, yeah, you know. So I cried yeah. a little bit from the anger that that my that my baby had to tell me, but he was so my son's so well spoken for his age, mm -hmm. and he wasn't like 
shaking up or crying. I'm like, you all right? He's like, yeah, I'm okay. I, he ain't get me. I'm good. Yeah, you man. Know? And so I, I love that yeah. that he was so strong and so intelligent. So yeah, yeah, yeah I cried that time because yeah. it was just a bunch of things. Yeah, that that's just the triggered. worst thing that could have happened. Yes. Thank God it didn't happen, dog. Because yeah. like, man. When you, when you be I still in, think about that now. Yeah, because being a parent, bro, it's like, dog, every day your, you, your kids leave the house, you just praying to God everything is good with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you are. Man, because one time my son, he come from school and his phone going straight to voicemail. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, yeah. You start thinking about all type of crazy shit. Like, yeah. oh, shit. I'm about to, I'm about, that's because that's the wrong. If I want to go to jail, that's going to be a reason why somebody fuck with my kids. Let me tell you. And yeah, fuck, it's over there. Let me tell you something. Somebody, <laughs> somebody play with my kids, I'm sitting down, dog. <laughs> For real, I don't care about no career, nothing. Somebody mm -hmm. play with my kids or, yeah. my, or my mama, or yeah. my sister. That's a wrap. My lady, it's over. Yeah, it's a wrap, dog. It's going, it's going sure. to, the, to the extent. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, I know growing up, man, you grew up at Puritan. Mm -hmm. T talk about, like, yeah, yeah. you kind of mentioned it a little bit as far as, like, the background, as far as, like, yeah. the family dynamics and shit like that, dog. But just, like, just speak on a little bit about you being a little kid. Like, what was what were you doing school-wise? Were you in the sports? Like, how was life for you? Man, we so crazy. All the schools we went to ain't never had no fucking sports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I guess these are schools in the hood. Yeah. Like, y'all ain't getting no sports. Mm -hmm. So, like, we used to always, me and my cousin, we went to school until we got up into high school. Man, we used to always aspire to go to, like, remember uh, Hey Zoo on Seven Mile? Mm -hmm. We used to always want to go there because, like, that was, like, the only school. I went to John R. King. Yeah, we played uh, John R. King. I'm a coach and shit, man. Right, but the the John R. King that we went to didn't have no fucking sports. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. the elementary. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was the elementary. Yeah. So, um... It was it was fucked up, man. Life in Puritan Avenue was mm. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, shit. We we knew, you know what I'm saying, um, the young kids that was like doing the, the hits for the for the grown ups, you feel mm. me? And I can speak on the because that shit's so old. Yeah. And them niggas gone. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of them niggas gone. But for like sure. we was we were friends. Well my sister and my cousin who like my sister. They were friends with the niggas that was doing the hits mm -hmm. for the for the dope men. Mm -hmm. You know, so those guys would come around, I'm talking about and they was little kids, like 14, 15, they'd come around with knots because yeah. they'd be then knock somebody off or did something to somebody. Yeah. So Puritan was wild, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Dang, you got a lot of shit around you, dog. I'm glad yeah. you didn't go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But my mom, bad. like I said, but my mom was in the was in the streets heavier when I was little. Mm -hmm. You know, and then a little bit in the nineties, but then, you know, she transitioned and uh changed her life over, which was a beautiful thing and for I sure. was very proud of her but no for sure for she sure. never like let me like even like see her in that and mm -hmm. that's what I always respected and loved yeah, about yeah. my mom you knew about it but you were always in, like yes. yeah, yeah, yeah and then when I was little I only knew about it a little bit I found out more when I was you growing like damn like, like that's <laughs> okay yeah. alright rock from, uh, from Razor <laughs> King I get, you. I get you but you know what I'm saying you, I guess in the 80s and 90s you had to do what you had to do no but. you do you do especially like I said hey with kids you gotta do what you gotta do to survive I understand my dad a little bit more now as I got older why he was doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And with your, uh, you saying your dad being locked up and, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace to your father, I know he passed. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you missed out on, like, just missed out on that father, son, time, or that's something that you take now to be the best father you can be because you didn't really have him around? Well, I want to say this. I had three fathers, right? Okay. So my, all, and the last one wasn't in the streets or whatever, but he was um just close to a, my mother mm -hmm. they dated but he always like remained in my life mm -hmm. and then the second one was my mom's like a childhood boyfriend mm -hmm. and they they loved each other he was like my dad and then my biological father rest mm -hmm. in peace to him they uh they all gone now though but mm -hmm. my biological father he was in the streets and then my mama boyfriend was in the streets so mm -hmm. it was it was wild and the one i was saying was locked up was the one that i knew as my father okay which his name was toddy yeah because my biological father chose not to really um be in my life who's in the streets doing mm -hmm. what he wanted to do playboy and all that shit but, yeah uh it was hard man because i all i wanted you know my whole life was to have a dad man for sure for sure but from those three like i said like i learned so much and um like i said my stepfather toddy he was locked up for a long time and then when he got out he only lived two years he got murdered damn yeah so yeah. it was like damn like as soon as you get out like i was waiting we was waiting 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 then to get out right yeah and then my biological father just a playboy. He just wanted to be Ari. So he knew of me. I, I looked just like him. Yeah, he was sure. like, nah, whatever. So, but before he died, we kind of like, um, kind of amended a little bit. Then we fell back out and mm -hmm. he died nine months later. Damn. So I struggled with that too because it's like, I should have, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like swallowed a little bit of that anger, went to his funeral. They was, cause they was calling me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sharing this, this real personal, but sure, you know what sure. I'm saying? We doing it right here on the podcast yeah, for yeah, you, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. And, um, they called me 
when he was dying. Like, yo, come down to the hospital. I was like, fuck that. I'm not coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, for his funeral, I'm like, I ain't coming there either. Mm -hmm. And then I was beefing too with my little sister, mm -hmm. which is, you know what I'm saying, his daughter, whatever. Yeah. So it was just like, I feel like it was going to be a fucking Look, mess. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. if I do go, I'm not about to get into it with her. For and sure, then my, our father is in the, in the casket. He dead. Mm -hmm. He ain't coming back. Shit, what the fuck we arguing and fighting for? Exactly. So um, I live with that regret that I never went, but um, mm. I kind of made my peace with it. And uh, wherever he at, hopefully it's in a better place. I uh, I know that he know that I, I love him, and um, you know I hope he is uh, enjoying his afterlife. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, that was real man. You growing up out here, boy. Like, for, yeah. <laughs> like no, like you, you ain't got the you, you know when you think about RB, I, and I know it's not true, but you know saying everybody think oh he's soft and you're like that. Yeah. Nigga, this nigga ain't nowhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, you, and you got crazy, a, a like, unique background. A unique. You ever thought about like shit? You went to books. You went to movies. You ever thought about writing some shit about your own personal life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We What's we that? talk. He t he tell me about that all the time. Like, man, just write something about your life, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause cause your shit was wild, man. Listen, I I knew I knew it was it, my life was lit when my mom or my auntie. You know what I'm saying? We all stayed in one house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neither one of these motherfuckers had a job, dude. We would wake up on Christmas. <laughs> The gifts would be up to the ceiling, yeah. and when I looked back at it as a grown man, I was like, "Yo, they was they was getting too," because <laughs> yeah. I never seen them at work. Yeah, like, for I was sure. seeing them at home, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. And and everything, our refrigerator was always stocked. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Shit, this the life, the life that Detroit people was living." That's why I never let people talk bad about our city. For sure. hell no, our city hell. full of hustlers. And yeah. I'm talking real gangsters, real hustlers, and and end of the day, everything tied back into Detroit. Yes, no matter what it is, dog. Yes. Fashion, no movies, matter what hood whatever. you was. Then, yep. East, West, North End, wherever you was at, yeah. you know, Southwest, niggas was hustlers in For sure. Detroit. Hell yeah. Now, I know Michael Jackson is your favorite artist. Yes, of all time. Yeah, so I want to take some tracks and turn them into stories. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, the first track we're going to talk about is uh, Rock With You. Okay. What do it take for somebody to be in your circle that you're going to rock with, they're going to rock with you? Like, what do it take for you to earn somebody or somebody, you know what I'm saying, respect or whatever? Um, I say just to... Just a loyal person, and I know that word is kind of thrown around, man. Mm -hmm. But when I say loyal, like show me through your actions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, man, I'm just I'm just a nigga that just stand on different morals and principles because I seen it with my own eyes coming up. Mm -hmm. So when I see people have those same morals and principles, you know what I'm saying? Honesty, whatever. And we all are human. We fall short. We fuck up. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you could just stand on your own too and own your shit, even when you mess up, like that's how I rock with you. For sure. Like that, that going back and forth, man. You you down one minute, then you ain't down. It's like if you down, you down. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. That's how I rock with a nigga and sure. and with with women, like you know. As friends, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, like I said, my, my lady. But mm -hmm. my lady exude all those qualities. She's just a real one. Yeah, for sure. And when you're a real one, you yeah. you just, you real. You, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, help yeah. but be real. No, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Man in the mirror, man. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? I see a guy that been through a lot, man. Yeah. I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful. Um, like I said, to made it this far. A lot of my friends is dead mm -hmm. or locked up. I got a homie. He locked up. Yeah. For murder, don't know if he ever getting out. Yeah, um, you know people I looked up to, my OGs in, in jail for life. So it's mm. like the man in the mirror. I see it, like I said, a guy who's steady evolving, and I and I want to grow. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about it. Some people get stagnant because they stop growing. Yeah, I'm a man. I love knowledge, and, mm -hmm. I, and I continuously want to grow mm -hmm. and um, learn from my mistakes. If I make a mistake, I'm quick to apologize. For sure. I wasn't always like that, but now I'm quick to apologize. Yeah. If I fucked up, let me, yeah. let me be the first to apologize. Hey, and niggas hate apologize, dog. Like, yeah. <laughs> niggas, it's, it's big, though. Yeah, it's, it's, power yeah. Yeah. it's power in that. It's power in that. And I like I said, I always want to be the first one to apologize, you know, or if I if I don't, then let me hurry up and apologize because For sure. I just like, I don't want nobody beefing with me. I don't want nobody upset with me. I just, I like a smooth selling. Hell yeah. You can go outside without having to worry about anything. Yes. Remember the time. What's the time in your life, good or bad, that you will always remember, dog? Mm, remember the time. Damn. Um, I mean, I remember... I went to my fucking prom and got drunk, my dumb ass. <laughs> then, then, and I don't drink or smoke like that. Yeah. So it's like, for me to do too much, it's, like yeah, even now, like it's crazy. too much. I'm done. Yeah. Man, my dumb ass gonna jump off the cliff. It's my graduation. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, we graduating. I'm gonna have my cousin. <laughs> 
and if she see this, she gonna be laughing. My cousin, uh, Keisha. Yeah. She take me to my prom, uh, and I'm like, she called me like, yeah, cuz I got you. I'm on the way there to get you on your date. Drop y'all off. She got a sweet ass car back in the day. <laughs> she like, yeah, this shit gonna look like you a mobster. You know what I'm saying? You good? Sometimes she geeking me up though. She like, so what you want to drink? I'm my dumb ass and the scene. Oh shit. The rappers on TV talking about the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, get the Hennessy and the Hypnotic. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. So when I get Classic. in the seat, right? Right, we go pick up my date. She in there. Now, my date in her mind, mm -hmm. of course, you know, it's the end of the night. She like, man, Tyron going to lay it down. And now he going to put it down. For sure. So we get in the car. You know, she talking all, you know, like a baby doll, sexy. I'm yeah. like, okay, I know it's her mind. Whatever. We yeah. having fun. And I'm like, yeah, let's, let's pop this drink. So she looking me crazy. Like, she already knew it was us. She's like, what drink? This drink? Yeah. You know, she talking real high and shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, the hypnotic. Mind you, my cousin then balled out. She been getting money for a long time. She get the big ass bottle of yeah, him, not it, crazy. and the big Niggas ass bottle Hennessy. of Hennessy. Yeah. So I'm mixing it. I'm st I stir. She got the little stir in the back. I'm like, <laughs> damn, I feel like the mob boss. This bitch. I didn't smash like three or four cups. So oh, I'm asking wow. the girl. The girl like, I don't want none of that. I'm straight. Damn. I'm like, you sure? I'm like, I'm like, you know, surprise. We have She like, yeah. She like, and you need to slow down. Yeah. I'm getting mad at her. Like, what you mean? Yeah, I was I'm grabbing. She like, dude, we gonna let's have a great night. Like, you know, this fun. <laughs> By the time I get to the prom, bro, no, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Like, like I'm in the bathroom. I'm throwing up. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm coming back. I'm having fun. Everybody like, Tyron, where you going? Because I'm, you know, I'm popular in my class. So everybody asking me, what are you doing after this? I'm like, yeah. it don't matter. I'm like, I got to see what my day want to do, but yeah. let's just have fun. But I was so fucking sick. After that, I had to go home. Duh, couldn't even get in. I couldn't get nothing in. They, look, they had threw a party. Everybody blowing on my cell phone. Ty, you coming to the party? I'm like, yeah. I'm lying like a mother. No. I no, no they I was hypnotic, sick, dog. No, and then the girl wanted to pop her thing off. She getting out the car. My cousin looking back at me. She's like, you ain't going anywhere? I'm like, nah. She like, oh, man. You threw. Damn, dog. Then she got the little dress. She like, hey. My mama gone for the whole weekend. Yeah. Her little voice yeah, and shit. Yeah, you just like. Fuck. I'm like, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, baby. Like, man, I was fucked oh, up. Shit. I was throwing up. I'm talking about throwing up, like, outside of the car. Yeah, the door, going crazy, up. dog. Damn. I'm sick, man. I remember that incredible hard shit, bro. Yeah. What high school you went to? I went to DSA. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Hell, dog. That's funny as hell. All right, The Lady in My Life. Mm, my favorite talk, song by Mike. Yeah, talk about how important the ladies in your, in your life is as far as, like, it go for your lady now, your mom, your grandma. Where would you be without these women? Man, my mom... Is a soldier. My grandma, the best human being I ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. My sister, my lady. Now nah, they all, man, they just all solid. Mm -hmm. My mom is. My mom is actually a spitting depiction of uh, my grandmother. Everybody loved my mom. My mom ain't never had no smut on her name. You know, it's it's a lot to be able to say that. I be telling mm -hmm. people that I'm like your image and your name is everything. Everything. Every fucking. You know thing. what I'm saying? So I try to pride myself in that. Of course. I, I fucked up. <laughs> During, yeah. I was listen. I was the R and B singer signed to Master P at sixteen. I'm hanging out with Nick Cannon, Bow Wow, mm. and them. I fucked up. Some yeah. some some girl out here is saying Tyron yeah. ain't shit. But yeah. hey, listen. That was when I was sixteen. Mm. I'm a grown grown man now, and uh, I'm reformed. Yeah, so yeah. Don't, uh, uh -huh. don't hate me, but. They, yeah. The ladies in my life They mean a lot Oh you ain't gonna just uh, Skip over that whole Master P shit though Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I hit the gas Yeah like uh, I asked about your background You ain't there Yeah 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 yeah. Talk, like, I had to set the story Yeah, up, yeah I'm like hold on Hold on hold on Hold on So you, you Master P is yeah. 16 So we the same age So this is 2002 Yeah Talk, what, what's, what's, what's going on dog Cause I think oh, this one like he was trying to get no limit back, back right. Yeah, he was trying to. Gotcha. Um, he had just uh, got like four hundred million from Universal, so mm -hmm. he was trying to um, research no limit, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, he had signed me, Currency. Shout out to Currency. Currency Hospital boy, yeah. nigga. That's one of the, man. This before he was the hospital, he was yeah. just Currency. But even yeah. then, I tell people he was out cold. He yeah. was like Currency's you knew he was the one. He yeah. just had it like around him. Yeah. He was a cool nigga, and um, I signed, I signed mm -hmm. on a Friday, and like that Monday. Um, he had like a huge house in Houston. We mm -hmm. was down there recording. For sure. 
And me and Romeo went in the studio immediately. He was cool from day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was little, a little boy. For sure, yeah. He was 12. Yeah, yeah, because he's younger, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he looking at me like, man, who is this nigga? He like, yeah. I just signed him, y'all in the studio. And like, we was locked in the studio mm. for like five days. That was my first experience with like yeah. really hot, getting studio gonna, etiquette. That's what I was going to ask that you about. That nigga like, don't sleep. Yeah, I was going to ask you about early on as far as like, I was going to ask you about that, like getting signed or how was the music mm -hmm. back then. But yeah, you you even said this little part. Like, yeah, like yeah. it was it was a motherfucker. Like, dude, we we'd be in the studio for weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. And like, I would call my mom, and shit. You know, I'm young. I'm 16. I call a bunch of girls and ran their motherfucking phone bill up. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He like, yo, you ain't gonna run my phone bill up, so we gonna go get you a phone. He was just Master P. Despite what all the bad shit people say about him, he always did me right, showed me love, and he just was a solid dude. Yeah, from day one. Mm -hmm. Like every time I was with him, he put money in my pocket. He started letting me open up for Romeo so I could make even more money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was just dope. Mm -hmm. We went on the tour with uh, me, Romeo, 3OW, and uh, Nick Cannon. Okay. Hell of a tour. Yeah, and yeah, Nick, yeah. And, and to speak on Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon had paper back then. Yeah. This nigga paid for the whole dinner. I think we was like in Miami. Yeah. And we was in the hotel. And they was like, yeah, it's a dinner downstairs. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody was down at the table, whatever. They had guards and shit around. Man, this nigga, they can't pay for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga had a black card back then. <laughs> so Ew, no. we ain't even going to say what he got. Nah, they can't. <laughs> yeah. They can't have been loaded a long yeah. time, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got this deal back then. You you mm -hmm. think everything is on the up now? Like, yeah. For you. I think I'm 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 ruling. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, ruling. yeah. Now, what happened like afterwards? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think, I just think. think uh, it was too early for you or? I, yeah, I think, you know. Like I said, where my mind state is, nah, man, I feel like everything works out for my good, man. And I feel like um, he was going through some turmoil with Universal. Okay. So he was actually asking artists, you know, if you wanted to leave, you could leave. If you want to stay, you could stay. Mm -hmm. And I no longer saw, like, my place there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I might have ended up like a, like a Puff and your mate situation. Yeah, yeah, for Cause sure. Because we were supposed to put out records. We recorded them. Mm -hmm. We recorded some hard-ass records, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it just never came. And I'm yeah. like, damn, I'm just sitting around. Mm -hmm. And, um... I asked for a release, he released me, mm. and he wished me the best, you know, so I was so thankful for that, but yeah, I just feel like it was a time, like like I said, the most high showed me. Mm. I toured all over the world with them, dog. Yeah, 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 so like, you learned a lot. When I say Seen everywhere, lot. dog, yeah. we went to Europe, Germany, man, we went everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you was, he was living, just a boy. real nigga, yeah, man, we went to L.A., I stayed out there for like, a, and then when he was inviting me out, I was staying for months at yeah. a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I went to Houston, we stayed for like six months, then... uh. He used to have his role manager give me a call. We called him Uncle Greg. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. He was a real nigga, too. Mm -hmm. He called me like, yeah, uh, I got your flight to come to L.A. in the morning. That's how he used to call me. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm living. Yeah. These niggas just call me out of nowhere. <laughs> sure. I'm talking about I'm in school doing homework or at home doing homework. My mom like, yeah, they on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> she, she excited and shit. They on the phone. Yeah. So I get the phone. I'm like, hello? He like, yeah. You know, they talking with their little New Orleans draw. Yeah, for yeah, sure. you know, you got a flight in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, the Tomorrow morning, he like, yeah, tomorrow morning. Yeah. He gave me all the information. I'm going to have a flight lady call you. Make sure you're there. Don't be late. Click. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I went out to L.A. At this time, Master P was staying right next door to uh, Steve Harvey. Okay. It was crazy. Damn. Hell, lit, life boy. Was, life was lit. Now, what did you do up until that point that you signed Master P? What were, what were you doing uh, to get discovered? Like, how was I you I was doing moving? talent shows. Mm -hmm. This I always believed this, and I still believe this to this day. If I don't got to sell my soul mm -hmm. or compromise my masculinity mm -hmm. man i'll do anything yeah because i'm i'm not i'm not the artist that's like ah man i'm too big to do that nah mm -hmm. my crazy ass i was dancing mm -hmm. behind my my <laughs> friend yeah. let me tell you this <laughs> anybody that know ty tyron whatever you know me as i can't fucking dance yeah, yeah. i'm gonna give you a great show For but sure. the dancers gonna be dancing gonna behind dancing. me once I get in the gym and lose this little uh, weight, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take off my shirt and look like Tank and shit. That's, <laughs> that's as far as you're going to get with me. You're For not sure. going to get me doing Chris Brown. I'm going to let Chris handle all yeah, the dude, dancing. Chris do Chris. Yeah, so, but back then I was uh, 15, 16. I'm just trying mm. to do anything to get into the game. For sure. You feel me? Yeah. Like, that's how, that's how humble I, I carry myself. Mm. And um, I ended up seeing... His best friend, uh, Anthony Boswell, and I'm like, shit, that's Master P's friend. So if he here, yeah. he ain't far behind. And it was a Romeo tour. Mm -hmm. They was opening up. Uh, my friend, uh, Lil Mama and T Baby, she used to rap back in the day. And shit. Mm -hmm. She in Tubi movies now too. She's still doing her thing. For sure. But um, 
that's how it happened. Yeah. And then like the next day he came, I'm like, hey, I gotta sing for you. He was looking at me like this motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I sung for him and shit. The rest is history. He was yeah. like, it's on. Got, yeah, got my number and we exchanged uh pleasantries. It was over. So once you asked for the release the release, mm -hmm. like was it like a, a down moment in your life where you was like, I bet I gotta just keep it going, keep it moving. I was like, I gotta keep it going, but like mm -hmm. I feel like that was the same time, like aren't well, let me say this. R&B really ain't never came back in Detroit since Motown. Mm -hmm. People want to say it did. That's a lie. Because yeah. if it did, it would have had more stars than than Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I went, to, I went to school with Tia Marie. Yeah. The only R&B people, and this is the truth, mm -hmm. the only R&B people that did it since Aaliyah, because I said this on, on uh, another podcast and this person misconstrued my words, so let me say it again okay. for the people in the back. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> the only people after Aaliyah Mm. Who is the the princess of Detroit forever? I love Aaliyah. Mm. Was me and Tierra Marie, and it was another girl named Sway. And how I know about Sway is because I talked to Sylvia Rome in person mm. when she was running Universal, and she said, "I just signed a girl from your city named Sway." Okay, those are we're the only ones that had it. Oh, mm. it was Sha Morgan, my yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah, for Everybody sure. Everybody else was trying. Yeah, they was trying to do their thing, and no disrespecting them for trying. Mm. But now. That was at the decline when we was trying to climb. Mm -hmm. Now it's like R&B is like ceasing to exist because everybody sees so much fast money in the rap. Yeah. But it's on the um, it's on the uh, horizon again. Mm -hmm. And shit, we just... I'm, I'm in it to win it, bro. I, yeah. I ain't gonna never fold. You That's the thing about me. Yeah, so you I still got that passion folded. for it. Even to the still day. got the passion for it. You, you go through dry patches. I think... Even if all of us was on, mm. it's a past where you go through where you second guess this shit. Yeah. Like, do you still want to sing? Mm. Do you want to go into this? Yeah, we but, in the hood, dog. We got a telephone. Shout out to the telephone. <laughs> Granddad downstairs. See, you might not answer if it's a bill collector. Right, yeah. <laughs> Don't answer, Granddad. <laughs> yeah. So, but like, like, how do you look at your career? Like after that, you know, saying in between, like, how do you look at your career wise? Like, I look like, at it. I was still trying to find myself, man. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I had signed to like some like. You know how like you just be wanting to do music, so you sign to like a nigga with money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had signed to a guy with some money from um either North Carolina or uh Atlanta. I ain't gonna say his name because I don't wanna, you For know sure. what I'm saying, get into all that with him, but like he he was a cool dude mm -hmm. till he started going crazy. Yeah. But like he he set me up with a lot of people, man. Mm -hmm. Like I was working with Stevie J. Stevie J. Still yeah. my man. For sure. For Mario sure. Wines. Yeah. Mario Wines is yeah. like my brother. Like yeah. I could call him. I could text him. He'll text right back. Yeah. Like what's up? What's mm -hmm. going on? You mm -hmm. want to do some records? Whatever. He taught me how to write and everything. Mm -hmm. Like so. Um, in between everything with the release, like it was like a down moment, but it also was uh, like a. a a finding of myself moment sure. yeah, yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm thankful for everything i went through bro because it just sharpened my sword even more to where now yeah it's it's, Can't be it's the it. art of war yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. what's your what's your advice to that to that person coming up if it's in rap if, it, if it's in r&b that's they they i need a deal i need this i need to make i need to pop off like and they got the talent mm -hmm. what's your advice to that person uh i would say this don't listen to no advice yeah because you know you can listen to me and I say something like, hey, don't don't sign a deal. But guess what? A deal might change your life. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like it could go either way. Mm -hmm. My own advice to myself would be like, it could go, it can go either way um, with a deal or without a deal. I feel like just getting your caught following. If you can just yeah. build a, a caught following, base, yeah. stay consistent, put out um, videos, people need to see you. Mm -hmm. So for me, I be telling people all the time, it's the visuals. Even if your song ain't shit. Yeah. Like, if you stay in people's face enough and you drop enough on this TikTok and on this Instagram, I'm telling you, people, no, sure. it, it'll start spreading. It, it has to spread yeah, yeah. because that's how TikTok and Instagram is set up. The algorithm is yeah. set up to show you and to show other products to people. That's why mm. when you're scrolling, you might just see something you're like, how the fuck did you yeah. come across this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the fucking mop is mopping the wall by itself. <laughs> what the fuck? But no, guess what? Sure. Th that's 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 the algorithm saying, damn, this person putting out so much content. Yeah, you got to see shoot it, it to, to shot it. Yeah, in Detroit. I was just talking to him about that shit, bro. Like, you gotta be, you gotta drop shit a lot on social media, though. Like, especially yeah. the algorithm, because if you don't, then you kind of like fall to the bottom. But if you yeah. consistent with it, then it's gonna it's gonna be all over the place. Yes, you know what I'm saying. And people share your shit, so when they share your shit, people, you know, what I'm saying, looking at their shit, then they looking at your shit again. Mm -hmm. So it's like the algorithm makes it consistent to where you build like a cult following and mm -hmm. then these people start coming to your shows sure. and yeah. that's where we at with it now hell yeah last project you dropped with two raw mm -hmm. in 2023 yep uh 
I fuck with the project. Like when Thank I first you, when I first seen you, that's why I like I mean I got holler at the dog because when you came in that bitch, me and my producer who was my uncle, we was in there like Damn, it's like you can sing because you don't just, like, you can sing for real. You know Thank what I'm saying? You, like, Thank you, man. That shit was dope, dog. Like, you appreciate some good. I, I, right now, at the age I am now, I listen way more R&B than I do rap. Yeah. I just enjoy it more. It's like, coming back. It's yeah. Coming back. Yeah. So when I seen that, I had to talk to you. Listen to that project, man. It was a dope project. Thank you. Give me your top three songs on the project. For me, it's uh, Caviar Dreams, uh, Rose, and Act Like You Love Me. Yeah. That's my top three. Yeah. Act Like You Love Me. Yeah. Um, Rose, for sure. And um, damn, I have to pick the same that you pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them three. Now, when three I, is my ones. with that project, do you feel like it? It got the love. You could do a little bit more. You did enough. Like, just talk about that that project. And did you? Uh, feel I like feel like, like I said, it was it was. I feel like it was a period piece. You know what I'm saying? Why uh, why I did it from the Jump mm -hmm. Street. And then um, I told my partner Wayne like we can go a little bit deeper. So as we was getting ready, cause this to be my fourth um, project mm -hmm. I released to the real coming up with TR2. Yeah. I was like, damn, let's do this, let's do this. And then I just called him one day like, man, let's just make this next project too raw too. Mm -hmm. But let's um let's incorporate a little bit more of a rounder um, sound for everybody to listen to it. Sure, yeah. That was kind of like one side. It was from me. Um, I'm going through what I'm going through. Damn, you know, yeah. this shit fucked up. Let me get this shit off. But now, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> like I wish, I wish I could tell you what yeah. what this concept is. I can't, I can't drop it yet because you know niggas be stealing. Yeah, Not for sure. But just, oh no, niggas do be stealing. We don't, we know. Uh, yeah. niggas, we like for real niggas Then we it. drop it And then niggas like Ah I heard yeah. it on On the podcast yeah. That you were doing Hell yeah. no yeah, but yeah, yeah, Just I, know This TR2 shit is Yeah Nigga you gotta be careful Nigga be biting Nigga be biting questions I be asking It's all good though I heard, I heard some stuff The other day It had me like damn yeah. That shit sound Stealing is a, is, a, is a form of flattery But <laughs> For sure it's also a form of pissing the nigga off. So yeah. <laughs> steal my shit No though. for sure <laughs> Yeah but when I, when I When I met you that day I I work midnight, so I listen to music podcasts. I'm like, let me go ahead and listen to my my dog project. Oh yeah, let me call. I, I gotta get him on the show. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? We like I, I said, we made it happen, to be man. Here, bro. Thank for sure. No, I appreciate you coming through. What's some shit that you hate that you gotta deal with when it comes to the music game? Uh, I would say the politics. I feel like this shit, at sometimes it's like, it's like high school. So mm -hmm. it's like the cheerleaders, the jocks, the niggas that's on their own wave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like real. Um, separated and I feel like that's one of the reasons why Atlanta continues to shine over us is because they're able to put that camaraderie shit to the side if mm -hmm. you just fucking dope they working with you for sure I don't like that um, for here I'm not going to speak for Detroit it feel like you got to work your way up to a certain level then people want to that's whack mm -hmm. because if you see I got the talent let's just work yeah yeah. The the oh you gotta give me ten thousand to come <laughs> to the studio because I uh come yeah. on bro we no. just trying to work yeah for sure that's it because as quickly as those tables are like how they are mm -hmm. my mom used to always tell me the tables always turn dog for sure and my thing is the same extension I extended to you to do mm -hmm. something then yeah. when you look around then I'm on top yeah. or whoever else is you on top the same family, like, like, nigga. now you won't you know what I'm saying exactly. Like, so you gotta give what you yeah, want man. Yeah. and that's in everything music, life, love, whatever you have to give what you want so mm -hmm. I just I don't know man I feel like people um, it's just I don't know it's, yeah. di it's different at this point yeah, yeah not definitely different Young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. What's some shit that you believed in as a young T.Y. that you look at, look on now like, what the fuck was I thinking? The young T.Y., I used to always want to get a motherfucker back. You do yeah. some raw <laughs> shit to me. Um, I'm, nigga, I'm getting you. Yeah. I'm getting you. Yeah. But now it's just like, I just, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm on another path that I believe that putting out positivity brings back positivity. Mm. That don't mean in no way I'm pussy or like I won't get at you mm -hmm. but like you said that's that that's that thing oh are, are they aren't the R&B sing no nah, R&B singer gonna beat your fucking ass <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. and then and then go sing on the stage yeah. and, and do all the R&B shit no for sure so it's just like yeah, don't get it twisted don't get it fucking twisted yeah. dog. Like, so I don't want to get people back like how I used to yeah. you know what I'm saying I just I don't know my block list is crazy yeah, yeah. like if I could show you now like I can open it and be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's I block motherfuckers for for little less than nothing. Like, I'm not about to, for real. I'm not about to. If you don't know, then I don't know, motherfucker. Yeah, like, no, blocked. Here you go. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta Hell call yeah. me through the text now after something. Hell <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now we get towards the end, man. Mm -hmm. 
making the band, bro. We we lived it. Yeah. The R B side and and the band. That was a classic, though. It was. It was Damn, I, was I they... knew Sarah Stokes too. That was For sure. that was yeah. like my god sister. Shout yeah. out to her. That was a classic show, dog. It was. But um, if you had to make your own band, you and five other people to make mm -hmm. this complete album, who would it be? It could be singers, it could be all rappers, it could be a mixture. And we could still do a show? Producers. Like, yeah, y'all, this is your Ooh. band, this is your group, y'all got one And album. it's from Detroit. It could be however you, you we can do a Detroit one and then we could do a uh, overall. Okay, so if we're going to do a Detroit one, let me see. I do me. Mm. I do Vezo. Okay. I, don't know, I just I just like I like Vezo style. Yeah, I, fuck with I like, Vezo, I like his energy. Hell yeah. Um, hmm. I do Rocky bad. Okay. Hey Rocky, I'm still waiting, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rocky. <laughs> yeah. So I, and I'm saying people too because if it's a show, like I gotta, I think Rocky has set that bitch off. She's sure. trying to fight people and all yeah. types of shit. <laughs> and I, for real. Yeah. So me, Vezo, uh, Rocky bad, two other people. Mm. Yeah, this your album. This my this the album that we're all putting together. Yep. I gotta go one more R and B dude. I go uh I go up Shaw. Okay. And then the last person. Hmm, it gotta be another girl. It's only one girl. Um shit. I th I I think I go I go back and I get um Nah. No, I would. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fucked up. That was yeah, I ain't said a name. Dog by two like <laughs> Nah, hell no. Nah. Uh <laughs> damn. Oh, I would get uh the the new rapper girl. What's her name? She cold. Oh, uh, don't give me uh, the 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 young rapper girl that we seen going out of town. Fuck. What was y'all at? She uh we was going to Chicago and oh. she was traveling too, but she rapped. Yeah. The one that just fought Jasmine Renee. Oh 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 oh, with Bri the red uh, hair. Pri Pri yeah, oh, yeah, Pri Pri yeah, yeah. I would yeah, put yeah. her in there. So that's yeah. it. That's Rhea, what the high Bezo, <laughs> Rocky Bad, yeah. uh, Upshaw. Yeah. And a pretty, pretty uh, bread. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, what about the overall the in, oh, industry man. album? Ooh, overall. Uh, me, Breezy, mm -hmm. um, Coco Jones. Nigga, nigga. You That's hard you. already, yeah. I was looking, I, I'm thinking about some other stuff, nigga. <laughs> Coco Jones is a bad motherfucker, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Coco Jones a bad one. She, listen, my I just say this, my lady, my lady chocolate. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Coco yeah. Jones a bad one. Shout boy. out to the chocolate girls. Bro. I watched um, that on Fred, that, that, that Bel Air like, uh, damn. <laughs> I say, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn, I forgot. Okay, so I forgot the list. Fuck. Okay, so me, oh, so you, Coco, Coco Jones, Jones Breezy. Brown. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, yeah, y'all make some Lady hits. London. Okay, y'all make some rapper. hits. Rapper. For sure. Yeah, you make some hits, hits. Hell yeah. And then the last person, um, for for style wise and just because I just think he a, a fresh nigga, mm. he older but I just think he is still round it off and make it dope. Mm. Uh, it, it's actually a toss up. I would I would either put uh, Jim Jones in there or yeah. Fab. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I, with the RB tip, I, damn, we both can do it, but Fab just perfect when it comes to RB shit. Yeah, like Jim yeah. Jones can give us RB shit with the rapping, but Fab just perfect though. But like, and then I was just saying too, like you said, if it's like. The band and yeah. we got to all be in the house sure. and people watching the show. I just think all of these different, yeah. these different personalities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you sure. might get into for it with Chrissy on the phone and yeah. argue with some shit. I just think it'd be dope. As fuck. Right. I got two RB questions to ask, dog. That mm -hmm. one of them I got cussed out about. Okay, I got cussed out. I want to know your opinion on it. I said that Usher's Confession album is better than any R. Kelly album ever. I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I'm about to leave. <laughs> So you, you Chuck just, Ready is we, <laughs> I'm about to bounce. So, so you 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 disagree with me too then. Let me tell you let me tell you School me though. You are you you a singer though. I'm not uh Robert Sylvester Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, he, he about, he about, he about to grill me now. He didn't say his whole name. Let me just tell you this. We was born on the same day at the same time. Mm -hmm. So my allegiance is different. Okay, okay, okay. January eighth at six twenty eight AM. Okay. That's that's what Yeah. You feel me? For sure. Um, that confession bro. album was a motherfucking way. Confessions was was everything that we needed at that time, though. Yeah. I feel this just me. I don't give a fuck when nobody's saying the comments. If you don't fuck with it, don't fuck, fuck it. with yeah. it. <laughs> fuck it. I think artist wise, all the way around artist, mm. R. Kelly is everything I, I ever wanted to be yeah, as an artist, with and still is. And I think he'll go down. That's one of the greatest that ever did it. Mm -hmm. Ever. Mm -hmm. He was able to reinvent himself. He's the only thing I know can go 
bald head braids back to bald head with the beard. <laughs> yeah. Like he's that For nigga. Sure. He's like an anomaly. He's like an Avenger yeah, or like yeah, an yeah. X Men. Like he just keep coming back. Yeah. I feel like if he was released right now, he'd do a tour and then sell out. No, it would. And, and he That's wouldn't need nobody. That's the thing. Like yeah. niggas, like oh, he probably need a deal. No, he wouldn't. He R Kelly. Yeah. All you got to do is say I'm gonna be here at this and this and time. They gonna pop up. And they gonna pop they up. Gonna pop up. And so guess what that do? That force the motherfuckers with the money to say, all right, we'll give you. 15 million for the tour, done. Yeah, you yeah, go. Thank yeah. you. Imagine his residency if he was in uh, Vegas. It'd be sold out. <laughs> I think Usher would stop because it would get too, It would. I think it would start mm-hmm. getting too frictionized. Yeah. Now, you know the, what I'm the saying? Overall, I, R. Kelly was better, but I was just making an argument as far as like just the album. I was listening to that Confess album one day at work like, God damn. No, it was it was perfect from start to finish. Yeah. I give you that. Yeah. Because like I said, you'll see with TR too, like it's it's some it's some it's some things yeah. that we did. Yeah, shout out to R. Kelly. I wish you Shout out to R. Shit, Kelly. We yeah. love you, man. Yeah. We we hoping everything going well and, and you get out soon. But now my for other me, my other R and B question is um, R. Kelly. How do you feel if if Bobby Brown never left New Edition, mm-hmm. do you think New Edition would be where they are now? Because I say cause Giant Gill just brought a whole different vibe yes. and sound to him. Okay. I do. Because like how I said in the beginning of the interview, I feel like everything happens for your good. Mm-hmm. Nothing happened by chance in life, bro. Mm-hmm. I just always believed that through experience and then just through, you know, my mom and my grandparents telling me that coming up. Mm-hmm. Bobby Brown was going to be who he was going to be yeah. from day fucking one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the bullshit that he took his brothers through mm-hmm. and then left. I feel like they they still would have ascended to great heights, but yeah. Bobby had to go solo yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, to give the yeah. world what he gave us. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah, fucking yeah. my prerogative don't yeah. be cool. You put that on right now, I still no, said so no. off. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, this oh, this last thing about that before we get to the end of the shit. Mm-hmm. Ralph Transvan had was he he got fucked in the whole thing to me. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at everybody who went solo, BBD, yeah. amazing album. Bobby Brown, amazing. Giant Gill, amazing. Amazing. Ralph Transvan album. He brought the most to the group. That's why I said he sacrificed a lot. He's the epitome of a person that really like put the team above everything because if off rip, they wanted to sound him as a solo artist. Yes. I feel like he got the short end of the stick he did. by sticking with the group. Uh at the beginning. Not at the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah, because and then this is this too. I feel what well, the movie, because I don't want Ralph in my DM type <laughs> shit. But listen, the way the movie set it up was like he, Ralph felt like, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the movie it came off like Ralph felt like like, just him alone could mm. make him the star. You're incorrect. Mm-hmm. It takes a whole team to take the right songs, the right records. Right producers, so, all that. If you remember, when he was talking to, uh, in the movie, when he was talking the tank, to Tank, who, yeah, yeah, by the pool, he was basically like on some like, yeah, when we gonna do my solo album shit, you know, because you're mm-hmm. doing the Bobby shit. And then he didn't want to work with the same producers. That was your biggest fucking mistake. Yeah, How yeah, you don't work sure. with the same producers yeah. that just made Johnny... A big, huge star that yeah. just made Bobby Brown the biggest star of yeah. '89, and then you say, "Yeah, I want to work with these producers, though." Man, you crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. For I'm sure. working with these motherfuckers. Yeah, because like, that's what on the movie he was like. Yeah, I've been working with these other niggas, and he played like, that song what? like, "Nigga, this shit trash." <laughs> Man, what, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm working with the same people that that gave Bobby this shit. Babyface, Jimmy Jam, and Terry Lewis, and yo, Teddy, yo, Teddy Riley for sure working with Teddy. Give me them four. You yeah. already then then made it. And uh and Gerald Busby would have gave it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But since dog. you wanted to try to, it was I think that's why Ralph kind of failed because he was trying to prove like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm the man. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. We never knew. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, nah, we didn't. Yeah, because BBD was my niggas, dog. Like, and then that's when that nigga Ronnie. I mean, Ricky, Ricky was singing his ass off on that album. Yeah, okay. and then and then Ronnie had the style. Yeah, like that shit was raw. Yeah, it was, it yeah, was fresh. Yeah, you needed that. You needed that, dog. But I always feel bad for Ronnie. Sensitivity Ralph. was was hidden, but I don't know no other song besides yeah. sensitivity. That's it. That's it, dog. That's it, dog. I'm gonna be honest with you. When when it's all said and done with your car- car- career, mm-hmm. how you wanna be remembered, dog? Uh, I wanna be remembered as an artist that never folded. Mm-hmm. You know, back when I first started, they used to tell artists like, "You after you cross this certain age, you can't do this shit no more." Mm-hmm. I'm here to tell anybody that's listening, you could do this shit as long as you got breath in your body. You know what I'm saying? Wind in your, in your lungs and just the the will and the sheer determination to keep going, bro. Mm-hmm. This shit get hard. This shit get everything, but mm-hmm. just don't ever fold. Yeah. Like, I want to be remembered as a guy who never folded. 
as a guy who kept pushing for this shit and one day made it happen and then reached back and helped other people because that's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. When my time come, because it's going to come, I'm, I'm manifesting that shit every day. For sure. I want to reach back and help other people. And I just don't want to be that artist where people are like, oh, yeah, he finally made it and he's shitting on everybody. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not that nigga and I'll never be that nigga. For I want to sure. help people. And I want to be remembered as an artist that just, that just, like I said, never folded. That encompasses everything. I never mm-hmm. folded and I stayed true to myself and my city because I love Detroit and I'm going to be Detroit to the end. Hell yeah, for sure. Good shit, good shit. Now, this the last shit we be, t- is some funny questions and shit like that. Yeah, whatever you want to do. I got this one shit called you? Too Early, Too Late, or Right on Time. I ain't on no time limit. Whatever you want to <laughs> do. Too Early, Too Late, or Right on Time. Okay. Sex. You had sex too early, too late, right on time. In my life? Yeah, like, what, what are you... Too early. Too early. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, figuring out life. You mm-hmm. figure out life too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. Moving out your parents' house? Too early or too late? Yeah, or right on time. Um, i say on time, because I, I loved my mom. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I was more so like my protector. And it, my sister was a gangster. She was... Mm-hmm. When I say gangster, I don't mean like in the streets, but she was yeah. just like a gangster. Like she, she yeah. was young moving out, so yeah. I was like, I'm gonna stay here and protect my mom a little bit. But once I had my daughter, I mm. was gone. First relationship you was in was it too early, too late, around right time? Too early. All right, leaving a messed up relationship. Too early, too late, or right on time. Too late, uh, for everyone. <laughs> Starting music. Real. Too early, too late, or right on time. Right on time. All right. right on time. First album that you released. By myself, mm-hmm. too late. All right, last one. Finding out Santa Claus wasn't real. <laughs> Man, y'all <are> crazy. <laughs> uh, I think it was too early. Monty Vern, she was she mean as fuck. So she yeah. told she told us that. Yeah. She told us that he wasn't real and shit. That shit fucked us up. All right, and I got this shit called What's Worse? Mm-hmm. What's worse? Your kids catching you having sex. Or you catching your parents having sex? Like my mama? Yeah, like her, her, her dude. I caught my mama having sex one time. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna she gonna text me on the CC. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like she was in the bed and shit. That shit fucked me up. I'm like, ugh. Like, yeah. it, was, it wasn't even like no, oh man. It was like, ugh. Yeah. And not even ugh to my mother. You know what I mean? But just yeah, seeing, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. I'm like, like, this is my mama. Yeah, it was, like, it was like on some movie shit. That's, yeah. why, I'm, that's why I'd be like, man, life... I'm like whoever yeah. watching our movie, they laughing like a motherfucker. Yeah. This shit be wild. Yeah. I knocked on the door. I came in from school. I had my this. I had first got my key, like a week before. So I'm feeling good. I opened up the key. <laughs> I'm gonna be. My mama gonna fuck me up over it. Look. So, whenever my mama, I'm gonna say this. Whenever I would come in and I would smell, like, <laughs> not not the sex smell because I never yeah. was great on that. Not that. <laughs> Whenever I would smell like, like, cause my mom was just predictable in this yeah, part. Yeah, sure. So like, whenever I smelled like, like a new Glade smell, <laughs> and I would come in and it would, had an AC on, I'm like, it's a nigga here. Like, <laughs> like I promise you. Duh. And she ain't have a bunch of niggas, so let me clear that up. My mama was yeah, a class sure. act, but hey, the few niggas that she did, funny, if man. I came in and the AC was going, it was. Like yeah. a little chilly in a motherfucker. Yeah. Somebody in here. <laughs> but I'm like, fuck it. I knew somebody was in there when I went in. I was like, fuck it. And I had seen his gators on the doorstep. But oh, I was shit. like, fuck it. <laughs> that nigga had some gators. That nigga had some purple gators in his <laughs> Fresh nigga, dog. Oh, he was fresh as fuck. Duh. So so I go to the I go in the room, like the door was kinda like closed. We had like a um some of the the rooms in our house like old school. So they had like the Slide like the, the slider yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. So I slid the door back, man. She yeah. was like in the bed. She was like Hey son, she set up and shit. And that nigga was on the side. He like, what's up, man? Like, that's a gator, that's a nigga with some gator's voice too. Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> yo, Duh. that shit fucked me that's up. Like, yeah, that shit I'm fucked like, me yo, up. I'm like, yo, my mom was getting busy. Duh. Hey, I remember when I got older, I never understood why my mom and dad had like the whipped cream in the room, nigga. Like, oh man. And y'all got older, like they was some freaks. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? The whipped cream. Yeah, like nigga, Ooh. I'm like, I'm like eight, nigga, in the seven and shit. I'm like, why the fuck they got that in the room, like? But then I got older, like they was watching. Uh, they was watching Big Black Booty Volume yeah. Nine too. Yeah. That shit was playing in the background. Hell yeah, cause my dad, nigga, I remember I used to pop that porno in, watch it, nigga. But I tried to rewind it right back to the same yeah. spot I was on. Nigga, I remember my dad woke up and seen me because like we had one bedroom and shit, and they used to sleep in the living room. Yeah. So I'm in that bitch, nigga. I'm a fucking horn ball. I'm trying to watch the porno while my parents sleep. <laughs> 
Hey, what woke, you doing? He woke up, nigga, and I laughed. I'm like, oh, shit. He just went back to bed, nigga. I turned it back where it was at. I remember it, the porn, like, yesterday, they all had all white mm-hmm. afros. Nigga, she had afro. Nigga, she had two afros on her head and her pussy. Nigga, that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> it was old as hell, dog. Man, that oh, shit classic, man. dog. So, I, so you say, but what about your kids catching you? Like, you think that's worse than catching you or you... Uh yeah, I, th- I think my kids would be scarred. I'm gnashing yeah. the motherfucker like this. Yeah, so you got the whip crane too, nigga. Them. They'd be scarred. <laughs> so, oh, dog, dog. Yeah, man. Be fucked up. What's worse, eat some stink pussy or eat some stink ass? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's funny. They shit, right bro. next to each other. <laughs> it's like next door neighbors and shit. Uh oh man, I would say eating some some. Damn, my mom, my mom gonna be like, sorry, mama. Man? Nah, she good, she good, she good. I'm, I'm, I'm a, look, I'm a big boy. Nah, I would say, um, I'm a man, so I've done both. Yeah, but I'm more of a pussy eater, so I would say, yeah, I would say, stank pussy. It's like, ugh. Yeah, for baby, sure. Come on. What's worse, this motherfucker in my face or on my yeah, face? Yeah, like, yeah. Withstand the smell and eat what, it. What, nah, baby. You, what you gonna Hell tell her? No. Are you gonna tell her about herself? Huh? Or you gonna keep that shit in? Mom, no, I'm telling her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling her. I, was, I, was, I don't know if you want to just fuck her a little, <laughs> a little spirit of like you, you baby. No, nah, hell no. That shit ain't right. Uh, no, nah, I'm telling. <laughs> uh, I'm telling. What's worse for a rapper, man, or just an artist overall? Wear, mm-hmm. Wearing fake jewelry or wearing fake designer clothes? Mm. I say wearing fake jewelry mm-hmm. because that shit turn rust color or, or that yeah, yeah. that rhodium color. You fucked up in the yeah, game for like, sure. For sure. Green to make your neck. Uh, with the bumps on the back Hell yeah, and shit. you broke out and shit this bitch. <laughs> in What's worse? No car, nice crib, nice car, no crib. What's worse? Yeah. Give me one more time. No car, mm-hmm. nice crib, or a nice car, no crib. Oh, nice car. What's worse is is um no car with the nice crib. You think that's worse? I don't know. I think that. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Say it again. Say it again for the people in the back. Yeah. What's worse? You ain't got no car, mm-hmm. but you got a dog ass crib. Or you got a dog ass car, but you ain't got no crib. Okay, I I take I take the dog ass car. I know how to I know how to move around. So you say you sleep in the car, huh? Like fuck it. If I mean because I, <laughs> I got you gotta think about it. I look at it like this too, like yeah. Man. Cause I'm catching the bus. Give me that nice crib. So you catching the, the I catch bus? I catch the bus, nigga, with that good ass crib. I catch the bus too, but then I look at it too. Like, what if, like, on that late night, like you was a single man living the single life, yeah. and then the girl say, "Ooh, baby, she Facetime me. Like, come get me." She Damn. made that motherfucker clap on the Facetime. You gotta say, "Hey, baby, I'm shooting the Uber for you." <laughs> yeah. That bitch saying she's scared to be around strangers and yeah, shit. Yeah. Now you gotta jump in the Uber, and then you know how you have to redirect it, like yeah. extra stop. <laughs> He ain't got to go to the store, nigga. Man, you gonna be at $54. Hell yeah, that's funny, Shit. dog. Damn. Now, you got kids. Mm-hmm. What's worse? Not having money on Christmas or not having money on their birthday? Not having money uh, on their birthday. My my kids are, um, I don't know, I think like every other kid, like you can kind of, this is what I'm going to say, you can kind of wing it a mm-hmm. little bit on Christmas, but I feel like kids, especially little kids, they feel like, bitch, you going to make it happen on yeah. my fucking birthday. yeah. Because what if you like, hey, I just lost my job. I need y'all to understand that yeah, yeah, yeah. some shit kind of hard. Okay, you know, mm-hmm. I might get y'all one thing. But I feel like the birthdays for kids is like they holiday. Yeah, like yeah. now we grown. Like for yeah. me, my birthday, I tell my girl and my mom, I'm straight. Y'all yeah. ain't, if y'all want to give me something y'all can, I'm, I'm going to turn it up for myself. For sure, yeah, you going to get in. You going to get yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever I want, I'm going to buy it for myself. But if you want to yeah. do something, you know what I'm saying, you can. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would think um, I would think birthdays is. Yeah, yeah. What, what's worse, losing your girl mm. to your homeboy or losing your girl to your ex? <laughs> she turned she turned gay? Yeah, she turned gay, dog. <laughs> I would say, yeah, losing to my ex. Damn, that that's that's like a woo. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's the get back. That's the get back. That's the get back for sure. Damn, and like they posting up pictures, like the couple pictures, like Yeah, they got the same Christmas outfits on each other. Yeah. There. And it's them two. But and they bump bumping put. <laughs> <laughs> Bumping clicks now, motherfucker, going crazy. Wow, damn, you had both of them. Now you got each other. <laughs> That's crazy, cause it'd be it'd make me think like they set that shit up. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What's worse, find out your parents ain't your real parents, mm-hmm. or find out your siblings are adopted? 
find out my parents ain't my real parents. Okay. I'm like, shit, this old, this old fucking shit was a lie. Man, <laughs> last thing. What's worse, man? Finding out your che your girl cheated through text or in action? For me. It's just for me. Yeah. Text. Because I think a woman cheat first mentally before she cheat physically. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? A woman that be the... Imagine she was getting... Dog yeah, for yeah. about two years and then finally let it happen. So for me, I think the text sets the foundation for the cheating. So mm -hmm. if something like the physical happened, it's like whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I to to even elaborate on that question, like I'm I'm not a I'm really not a nigga that go through the phones and all that shit. Yeah, like I don't be shit. on that. Yeah. I, in my mind, hurt. yeah, you get your feelings <laughs> hurt, and then I just feel like the maturity level of a person kind of mm -hmm. shows when you got to go through phones. If you yeah, got to do all that, yeah. you don't need to be with nobody. Nah, fuck that. Go fuck ahead, that. go ahead, and get your shit together on your own, and yeah. you'll be straight. And then you go see that one time y'all got to argument. Now she ain't told your girls about you, shit like yeah, that. Just, it's said just, you a bitch ass yeah. nigga and all that. <laughs> it just ain't, it ain't like you said. If you ain't fuck that, if you got to go through phones and it's over already. Yeah, because now you and then that. if you don't find nothing. Guess what you go, your dumb ass gonna be doing? Continue to look until you find something. You find something. Every day, dog. Every day. Bro, this was good, a good interview, dog. Thank I, you, I'm man. glad you came on this motherfucker, dog. My man, my man. Leading people with some kind of words, man. What can you know saying? Some motivation. Uh man, uh, stay solid if you ain't got nothing else to do, man. Mm -hmm. Um one of the best pieces of advice I ever got from my grandfather, man. Mm -hmm. People live longer when you keep your your nose out of shit that don't concern you. For sure. Keep your mouth <laughs> off of shit that don't concern you. Mm -hmm. I don't get my opinions on shit, especially if it don't concern me, because once you do that, you kind of put yourself like right in the middle of some shit that didn't even concern you. Mm -hmm. And now a person like, oh, well, if you comment on it, then I'll be about to put that motherfucking <laughs> uh, fire on your ass. Yeah, so sure. stay out of shit that ain't got no business with you, man. Keep your head low. Keep your head on the swivel. We live in Detroit, man. And just... Get your paper and keep God first. Know that everything happened for a reason and everything is not for the bad. People mm. be out here, man, I'm fucking broke. I'm fucked up and all that, bro. He'll tell you, I don't speak nothing bad on myself because mm -hmm. that shit go out into the universe through your voice. Duh. So it circles back around on I'm, you. I'm, so all that, don't don't say you broke. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Say say it's coming or say it's already here. You could talk in the present. That I believe in that affirmation shit. I believe in that good energy shit. Mm -hmm. I believe everybody uh, have their day in the sun, man. Every dog have his day. So just know that your day coming if it ain't already here, man. And just put out positivity. Mm -hmm. And I think I think you have a good long life. Yeah. No, that's that's fast, bro. Because, like, I remember I used to speak that whole broke shit. But like you said, if you speaking that shit, it's going to continue to be that way. Yes. If you don't see change for yourself, then it ain't going to never change. Right. You feel me? So, yeah, that's that, that's a fact what you said. That's real shit. And stay out of niggas' business. Yeah. Like you said, nigga, I don't stay give a fuck. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what's going on, nigga. I ain't, I ain't in it. As long as shit, my crib right, I don't give a fuck about your crib. Yeah, because <laughs> you making opinions on shit, and it could be more serious than what you know. And now since you said something, you in some real deep, serious shit. Mm -hmm. And you can't get out of it because you already opened your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck about your relationship. I don't give a fuck about shit, though. Or no business, or even your, like, I don't, I don't get my opinions on artists. Mm -hmm. It's because it's not, it's not my place to think you dope or whack, like. Because you really don't give a fuck, so yeah. why should I give a fuck? Exactly. You doing your thing, I'm doing yeah. my thing for real. For and like, sure. if our paths cross, as far as doing records, if we do one, we do. If we don't, we don't. But as far as me saying artists whacking all that shit, I just, I stay out of that. Because mm -hmm. you just don't never know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Me? No, that's a fact. That's a fact, And man. you ain't going to make your name off of beefing with me yeah. or fucking me up or <laughs> yeah. doing any of that dumb shit. For sure, so, for sure. T.Y. stays out of the bullshit. Man, like I said, man, it was a pleasure having you, man. Man, pleasure being here, bro. Like I said, hey, go listen to this dude music. You can really sing, dog. Yeah, TR2 coming soon, man. Follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. My name is T.Y. It's, it's all one word. T.Y. with two E's. T-E-E-Y. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah. like I said, if you're a new person watching this, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you fucking comment. Don't be a hater yeah. and just watch that shit without doing it. For sure. Do that shit, man. Like I said, Shivers A by TY, episode mm -hmm. 186, man. Best podcast the year I was in the city. Born. For sure. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Special. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 186. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Do you, oh, last thing. Do you feel like, like, like damn, I'm, I can't believe I, I'm getting this, I'm getting older. Like, we graduated 20 years ago. Yeah. I, I feel like we get better, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. we're still here. Think about all the friends that we got that ain't here. 
or that's locked sure. up, no, or fact. that's fucked up. Like, oh man, you got a couple of dollars, man. Mm. I knew my whole life I could never be like that. <laughs> I just can't, and I ain't dissing nobody, no, no, but it's like yeah. if you got working limbs and your mind still together. Now, if you crazy, then all I can yeah. do is pray for you. But if I see you and you just fucked up because you making the decision to be fucked up, bro, it's on come you. On. It's on you. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't about to be asking for no dollars. I'm yeah. about to. Do something to give me some paper. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's the 86 episode, boy. Year yeah. 86 was a good year. God damn Great it. Year. I was in the middle and shit. He was at the beginning, June. Yep. Hell yeah, though. So my shit coming up soon, though. We got to do something and shit. I don't Happy know. early birthday. For sure. Appreciate it, man. Like I said, shout out to everybody. Best podcast in the city. Mm -hmm. Ain't no comparison for this. I don't know what the fuck you doing, man. Or what you saying, <laughs> what you talking about. We out. Yeah.